My fellow Elysium, I know how much you have been looking forward to this day. Regrettably, however, I must inform you that Inspector Cletus and his companion have not yet returned. Therefore, we cannot yet exclude the remote possibility that down on Deconia, part of the population have somehow managed to survive among the junk to this day. Prime Controller Ulysses has confirmed that the Organon is ready to fulfill its mission. As soon as the inspection team gives the all clear on the return from the ruins of Porta Fisco, nothing will stand in the way of the spectacular start of our journey to Utopia. It is only a matter of hours until we can finally give the Organon the signal to go ahead and blow up our home planet. The good news is, due to this delay, the water slide will stay open for now. So this is the third strike, you're dumping me just like a trash bag. Why? Just because of some must tart on the carpet, you pathetic dog head. I assume that you're humored to just bite the dust. But this isn't over yet. Here you can bet on that. The last part of my day will surely appease and change your mind anyhow. So turn on your death aid now. The story goes on for good things come in threes. The saga picks up in threes. I'll wake those and get the mine detector. Take it easy. I'm just making breakfast here. Fried sludge with honey. Oh, yes again. <sighs> the allergy medication is in the cupboard with a bear trap. Nonsense. The sludge is just a base. I am fishing at this very moment. I'm using the diving crane to catch something big. Oh, big. That's a new one. No problem. Let me think. We should be in the Sea of Shards by now. Do we have enough bandages left? Um, Doc? Yes? This isn't the Sea of Shards. What? Oh, right. I forgot to tell you. I hatched a great plan while you were asleep. What have you done? I found an abandoned on-ramp for the Organon's monorail track. And so I thought to myself, Bozo's cutter used to be a rail vehicle, right? Right, first. What? You steered us onto an Organon cruiser route. Yeah, and it'll take us directly to the Upper Ascension Station in Port of Fisco. Where the Organon's headquarters are. And where the last high boat to Elysium is anchored. That was the plan, wasn't it? I will use my amazing resemblance to Cletus to sneak on board, together with gold. But... So come on, let's eat something first. <laughs> That's the diving crane. I've got a bite. I thought we weren't on the water anymore. So what? What do you mean, so what? So what took the bait? Uh-oh. I guess this means Bozo will finally accept the fact that he needs a new cut. Oh, Rufus, you were so right. You are such a good friend. <laughs> it's his own fault. <laughs> what a large bear. Uh 
Uh oh. What's kept you, Argus? I was just talking to the Elysian Council of Elders. They're starting to get nervous. We're on our way, Prime Controller. Inspector Cletus and his companion are on board. There will be no further delays. I should very much hope so. Ulysses, over. Treason! Stop the engines, Argus! Cletus, you have no business here. You're supposed to stay in the cabin until we reach Port of Fisco. That will have to wait. This woman is not my fiancée. Put his eyeballs in the waffle iron! I know that. She's a Deponian with a brain implant, which also happens to contain the cartridge with the mind of your fiancée. No, it doesn't. Do you think this sounds like gold? Chew flesh from their ankles! Rotten vinegar! <laughs> Maybe she's about to have, um... Oh, uh, you know, a uh, visit from Aunt Flo. Rubbish. That Rufus pulled a fast one on me. We need to turn back. You fool. Excuse me, bailiff, sir. There's something on the track. What do I care? Run it over. We have no time to lose. The inspector has forgotten something important, and he's in trouble if he can't find it soon. Offenbot, you will go with Inspector Cletus. As you wish, bailiff. Goal! Goal! Hang on, I'm coming! Out! And... Hi! The crane might break at any moment. I need to do something. Anything. You've chosen a romantic location. Well, you refused to go to the theatre. Eh, at least the seats would have been more comfortable. For starters, you might want to tighten the screws. In the meantime, I'll try to free the cable. Consider it done. Huh? Hey! Oops. Oh. Any progress? Well, uh, yeah, there is some uh, progress, uh, so to speak. Uh oh. <laughs> what have you done? Wasn't me. Rufus, we're going to fall! No, we won't! I'm slipping! No problem! I gotcha! Uh, ah! Ow! Well, well, who have we here? Of course. Don't you know anything? Uh, who are you? Oh, I'm just a fan. Don't pay any attention to me. A what? A fan? Exactly. Just carry on, will you? But uh, just a teeny tiny question first. How are you going to get rid of it? How? Uh, what? You know, what spectacular Rufus maneuver are you going to use? Oh, that. Uh... I'm gonna blindside him with a special karate kick. Oh, a high speed shot. This means I need to decrease the exposure time. Karate, high speed shot, all you're talking about. You'll see in a minute. <clears throat> Wait, I used the wrong type of film. Uh, could you maybe stun him with a different trick? Uh, sure. I'll confuse him with my blackout tactics. Ah, a residual light shot. I need to set my flash to level. Blackout, stop bluffing! Perhaps I am. Perhaps I definitely am. 
I'll, I'll, I'll switch on my night vision, just in case. There. Done. Do your thing, Rufus. Man, this is going to be so epic. Um, okay. Okay. One. Two. Uh, I'm blind. I'm blind. What? <laughs> and... Ta-da! Wow! You actually did it! Yeah. Ah, that's me, you know. How on earth did you do that? Ah, wait for the photo. And now you're gonna go save Cole, right? Who? Oh, huh, her, sure. <laughs> How are you gonna do that? One thing at a time. The two of us should have a talk first. Um, we should? Yeah. Fan to idol. Wow, what an honor! So, you're a fan of mine. My name is Barry. I traveled for miles only so I could talk to my greatest idol just this once. Well, then let me talk instead of boring me with the story of your empty life. We should use the time for an interview. Uh, really? Shouldn't you be saving gold first? Ah, uh, er, all in good time. A true hero must take care of his fan base. Wow, you really are the greatest. Did you hear about the time I saved Goal from the claws of the Organon? Sure! The story about how you caught her when she fell from the sky is legendary! Almost as legendary as your selfless decision to take her back to Elysium, completely disregarding your own best interest. Legendary? It's epic! <laughs> Do you know how I uncovered the Organon's conspiracy? Well, of course! You fought your way through hundreds of Organon soldiers to keep the truth out of peace. That's how you learn that the Elysians are planning to blast Deponia to pieces, but they have no idea that Deponia is inhabited. I'm controlling the Elysians and Argos is entering. I'm keeping this back a secret. And they got Cletus to falsify his report to reflect that. Wow, sounds like you were there. Do you realize it was me who started the rebellion against the Organon? Who else? In the floating black market, you had the idea to look for comrades in arms to fight against the Dark Instructor. That's where you recruit Janusz, Garlic, and Liebel, who happen to be floating past in a pickle barrel. Gosh, see, the things I made up. Have you also heard that I prevented the depopulation of the Rust Red Sea? Naturally! You led the rebel attack against an Organon Blast Tower. You blocked the bomb suspension clamps all by yourself, and then you proceeded to save Gold from the claws of her devious would-be fiancé, Cletus. That's exactly how it happened. How about a little photo session? Oh, fantastic! Hmm, let's see. What would be a suitable subject? I could take a picture of you saving Gold. Yeah, but then she would be in the picture too, right? Wouldn't that distract unnecessarily from... Quite on the contrary, it would emphasize your selflessness. You think so? Mm. All right, then get ready and uh, make sure my selflessness is clearly visible in the picture. Exactly! The manual uh, thing of me. <gasps> I feel another brilliant Rufus maneuver coming up! Yeah, can you try to feel it without making so much noise? Um, I see! You're accelerating the cruiser instead of stopping it like everyone else would have done! That, because everyone else is an idiot. And the cutter being caught in the cogs is part of your plan as well, right? Uh, sure. Um, please! See those sparks fly! <laughs> Woohoo! Faster still! This is so rad! 
my coat is on fire, but I'm still very happy to be part of this. Luckily, the Organon is known for its excellent fire protection measures. Nah, that's just propaganda. I bet my boots. Your boots on that. Someone leave the window open. So the cutter struck sails, wrecked as Tony's mum scales, and up as much a whale for the long road ahead. Still the mood in the group was just super whoopie doo, yeah, except that they slowly grew ripe for the bad. For they knew that they would have to go on by foot And no problem for such a walk is all the less Stressful if you sing along with a motivating song And to emphasize this, I flood the cabin of the coast guys with helium gas with helium gas <laughs> I took out that Organon with my shadow attack. Did you see that? For the thousandth time. That was so cool. They call him Rufus. Rufus. Oh. Everybody now. He's cool and he's smart. It's something something modern art. What? Hey. Where are you going? There's a hotel down there. I really need a wash, especially for my ears. But, but, go? Come on, Rufus. Are, are you mad at me? Dirty, battered, humiliated, all of that. But mad at you? No. It was actually kind of cool. Oh yeah! Something something modern art! Haha! <laughs> 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 ha, stairs, dark and steep and slippery. Huh. I better take a jump after all. I hate to... Fall on my butt. That would be too embarrassing.
My circuits are scrambled. I shouldn't get up so fast. Or get a little exercise. Whoa! Don't creep up on me like that! Creep? I rang the bell. Phew! I thought it was my tinnitus. It wouldn't surprise me, though, with all that noise from the cruiser route, not to mention the cold draft or the mold. But I digress. Welcome to the Hotel Menetekel. Would you like to rent a room? Uh... Actually, I was just looking for my friends. A geriatric garden gnome, a girly giraffe, and a circus bear in a hat? That's them! Yeah, they just checked in. They didn't look like they could afford a lawyer, so I gave them room five. But don't worry. As long as they don't touch any light switches, electrical sockets, or load-bearing architecture, they should survive the night, provided they stay in the room after midnight, of course. Which reminds me, do you happen to have unfinished business with demons, dark gods, or the recently dead? Uh, not that I know of. Super! That's all right, then. You have no idea how squeamish some insurance companies can be when it comes to supernatural causes of death. Here's your key. Please have a pleasant stay here at Hotel Menetekel. Uh, thank you, my good man. Are you insinuating that this place is haunted? Not at all. We're safe here in reception. It's the rooms I'd worry about, especially room 13. Why? What's wrong with room 13? Mm, let's just say it was a mistake to bury the Indians there. Oh yeah, and an apocalyptic cult has occupied the laundry. So if you need clean bedding, you should make sure you don't carry any religious insignia or virgins with you. How will I find my room? Oh, probably horrible. I wouldn't want to spend the night in there. Oh, why do I bother? Many Tekel. That's a strange name for a hotel. You think so? It's Menetekel. I've always thought the name was cute. It means something like impending doom. That's what I mean. Who wants to live with impending doom? Don't we all do that? Uh, right, but if you have a choice. But you don't. Or have you seen another hotel around here? Strange location for a hotel, right under the Organon Cruiser route. Hmm, you think so? Our surveys have shown that this is the ideal location for customers in our target group. Ugh. People without a sense of smell? People who are so desperate that they'll accept anything. Huh, them. Haven't you heard the rumor that Deponia is going to be blown up? Of course! That's why popcorn is sold out everywhere. Well, it's all true. But I'm the one. Who's going to prevent it? That's fantastic. I thought I would wind up having to do that. What? For one thing, I was forced to clean the toilet this week. Is that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> Got me. Of course I didn't clean the toilet. That'll be the day. Hello. I'm talking about the greatest catastrophe of all time. Ah, so you've already seen our toilet. I'm going to my room. Yeah, do that. I won't stop you. And before you ask, that does not constitute an act of negligent bodily harm. We've had that checked. Locked. Bozo? No answer. Huh? Easy. I hear something. And the destroyer will pass through this door and he will bear the sign of the beast. I know that voice. That's M. A dull knocking will precede his arrival and he will say. Ow! Oh, oh, that's gonna, that's leave, gonna a leave a bump. bump. Hey, don't mock me. You wait a second. I know you. You're very busy. No, you're the guy with the pipe. The soothsayer from Porta Fisco. No, I'm not. You're a liar. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Which basically disqualified me from being a soothsayer, doesn't he? Uh, that's just hair splitting.
I still think you're the fortune teller. Ah, I'm often confused with someone else. For example, with Ansgar Meatcap, the famous hat model. Are you pulling my leg? Why? We go to the same barber. Come on, I recognize you. What are you hiding? Hmm? Nothing. Unlike Ansgar, that vague fop. Hmm. Are you planning on going on a journey? Just a little fishing trip. But it looks like you've completely pulled up stakes. I'm hunting big fish. And that's why you're taking all your living room furniture? My house sitter has the mumps. Hmm. What was that mumbling just now? Are you talking to yourself? I don't know what you're getting at. It sounded like some sort of dubious apocalyptic sermon. Like you might expect from some sinister sect leader. Ah, yes, that. I was just rehearsing a song for my niece's birthday party. And the destroyer will come through this door? Beepo, the destroyer, king of comedians, do 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 da. And he will bear the sign of the beast? He bears the sign of the beast. He does an elephant impression. Congratulations, Emil Louis. Emil Louis? Yeah, it's a popular girl's name on the Chapinot Coast. Mm. What's with the strange outfit? This is just a bathrobe from the hotel. Oh, yeah? Did the hotel also embroider the end is nigh on there? They mean the end of the early bird booking period. The end of the early bird booking period is nigh. Book your vacation at Hotel Meniteco now. <sighs> Stop pretending. I see through you. Oh, dear. That was to be expected. Of course, you were right. I am the fortune teller, but I don't like to lose my abilities. Oh yeah, there's nothing but junk on for the future, right? More precisely, there's nothing on. The world is coming to an end. Huh? Yes, that was also my first reaction. The second was to pack all my things up and run away. But that's nonsense. I know. One cannot escape one's fate. Exactly. You have to come to terms with it. What? No! That is why I gathered like-minded people around me to prepare for the unavoidable together. You founded an apocalyptic sect? Hey, can you think of a better time? The world won't end today. Correct. It will happen tomorrow. Shortly before the late news. Ha! Not if I can prevent it. Also true. Unfortunately, you can't. Tch, we'll see about that. Wrong. Our eyes will have long since burned away when it happens. Oh, you know better about everything, huh? Yes, an occupational hazard. I'm gonna put a stop to your bunch of superstitious yahoos. But we aren't doing anything wrong. Oh, of course not. You just want to call down the end of the world. Oh, we do not. The end can no longer be stopped. All that is left to us is to prepare for it spiritually. Spiritually? I see. So you're getting hammered. A sort of rap party for the planet. Quite the contrary. It is a matter of symbolically washing ourselves clean of our sins before the end comes. <laughs> So just soft drinks? I'd rather go to the real Satanists. At least they know how to party. Can I have your robe? No, but if you participate in our ritual, you will get your own. Are you nuts? There's absolutely no way I'm going to take part in your eerie apocalyptic sock op. <laughs> it is a self-purification ritual to cleanse you of your sins. What sins? I'm busy saving the world, strictly speaking. I'm sort of a saint, and I already watched this one. I have seen it otherwise. What are you doing here, anyway? I am preparing for my big speech. The world doesn't come to an end every day. I want to look at Tja, you're beyond help.
Ah, uh, Dentosaurus. Put a dino on your toothbrush. Hey, that's the same brand I used as a kid to fake having a fever. Huh. Says here, Dentosaurus toothpaste is a chemical waste product and not suitable for internal use. Possible side effects. Fever. Sweaty feet. Permanent loss of the awareness of danger. <laughs> Under no circumstances may Dentosaurus toothpaste be mixed with rug cleaner because dangerous chloroform gas may develop. <laughs> wow, I should read hazard warnings more often. I actually thought toothpaste was useless. <laughs> like taking candy from a baby, just with fewer cavities. Hey! Leave Mr. Toffee alone. Huh. Lock. Goal? No answer. But there's somebody in there. I hear voices. There's nobody here. <laughs> That's nice. Then I can come in. What? No, stop! Too late. Uh, hello? You there? Under the sheet? There's nobody under the sheet. Don't be silly. I can see you. You're seeing a ghost? Can't be. I don't believe in ghosts. Especially not the creepy sort that hang around in dark hotel rooms and are eternally trapped between worlds until their poor souls finally find relief. I'm not a ghost. And it would be a release if you would disappear. Not so hasty. If you aren't a ghost, what are you doing here all by yourself? In the dark, right next to that peephole into the next room. Um... I... Ooh! I am a ghost! Go away, or you will feel my supernatural ghostly strength! Unless, of course, you're from room service. I am room service. Very well. Then please clear away the dishes by the door. Huh? But there aren't any dishes... But... Oh, just a sec. There's something here after all. Uh, before I go... Oh my, this is where the sheet hits the fan. Hey, why does a ghost need room service? <laughs> to change the sheets. Keep your hands off my sheet! Huh, sure thing. I can imagine how uncomfortable it is when the edge gets tucked so far under the mattress. A friend of mine once got caught in a laminating machine. He cried all night long. Fortunately, I remembered how to shut the machine off the next morning. Uh... Uh-huh. But as I said, this is not about the sheet. Just clear away the dishes. And why do you need dishes? For a midnight snack? Oh, yeah. Logical. I don't think you're a ghost. And how, may I ask, did you come to that conclusion? Very simple. Ghosts only appear to those who blame themselves for something. They're sort of like a guilty conscience made material. Uh, guilty conscience? Me? You have some ideas. You better believe me. I blame myself for absolutely nothing. Oh, come on. Everybody has some guilty secret. Yeah, I don't have any guilty secrets. Not a single one. Why else would Gold take me with her to Elysium? In the short time we've known each other, I've already thrown her from a moving Organon cruiser, twice, poured espresso made from battery acid down her throat, uh, split her mind into three, and this morning, I accidentally grouted the baby turtle she tried to nurse back to health with quick-drying cement. But she forgave me for everything. My conscience is clear. Have you ever thought that maybe it isn't a matter of whether this goal forgives you, but whether you forgive yourself? Whoa, that would be totally egotistical. I don't think so. Okay, fine, I forgive myself.
there. And now? What? And now? Well, you're still here. If you were really a manifestation of my guilty conscience, wouldn't you have dissolved now or something? Hmm. Maybe I have to forgive myself. Of course. Just like in My Friend the Phantom Astronaut. Come on, hop to it. Just, just forgive yourself. It's not that easy. I am really very ashamed of myself. Well, how are you going to find redemption then? Well, I thought I'd just stand here in the dark and fight against it. Oh, man, what a crybaby. <laughs> All right. What's your guilty secret then? Isn't it obvious? You're a bedwetter? Rubbish. Look at where I am. In a dark hotel room. Next to? A hole in the wall. And what does that tell you? Oh, I got it. You like to drill holes. No. Huh? But, uh, wait a second. You don't mean... Yeah, but I like to listen to people while they sit in the shower. <laughs> Ah, guilty schmilty. Let's talk about something else. Gladly. Can I turn on the light? There is no light here. Only darkness and shame. Charm? Shame! Oh yeah, charm. I'm very charming. No shame! Good grief, you must know shame. Oh, uh, yeah, shame, of course. <laughs> Those little, uh, shame-shaped things. Shame, yeah, sure. Hey, nice sheet. Keep your hands off my sheet. Do you need it much longer? As long as you're here, yes. Ow! Shards! Ow! Another shard! And, aha, uh -huh, this isn't a shard, it's a knife. Ouch. <laughs> it fits. Ah, there you are. And wow, what is all this stuff? Did you just set it up? No. Neurofusion chambers are standard in this hotel. Of course we did. Huh, pretty speedy. And uh, what does one do with a uh, neuro thingy? Can you watch scrambled channels? <coughs> that too. But most importantly, it will repair Gold's brain implant. You know, re-merging the aspects of her character. Yes? Her entire consciousness was stored on a cartridge. Right, together with the ascension codes. That you need to gain access to the high boat. Exactly. After this procedure, Goal will be her old self again. And then you can make use of the shower. Shower? Why? For the Ascension customs? Or did you think they'd let you into Elysium like that? What? And just what is that supposed to mean? I'm just saying, considering everything we know about that Cletus, he is an extremely clean person. So, if you want to pretend to be him, shower. Hey, let me deal with that. You take care of gold. Or do I have to help you with that as well? Not necessary. It's almost ready. Cool. Uh, almost? Oh, what do you mean, almost? Oh, uh, nothing bad. I just have to calibrate the data interface. Uh, and once again, I have to do all the heavy lifting, right? Not at all. No problem. I can fillet a data thingy with one hand tied behind my back. You just have to press here. And Rufus, no! That throttles the fuel rods. Ah, they can handle it. Uh, Rufus, 
this calibration is really much too easy for you, why don't you take care of the much more difficult professional mission? Professional mission? Of course. Doc still needs this thing that can't be found in this hotel room. Oh, um, exactly. That, uh, plasma... Uh, exchange. Uh, Whoop-dee-doo. Uh, uh, mammoth fur. Relay. A plasma exchange whoop-dee-doo mammoth fur relay? Hard to come by. Huh, for beginners like you, maybe. But for a pro like me, it'll only take a jiffy. Hey, Bozo, you old pirate. Go ahead and say it. Huh? Nah, how can you be a pirate without the cutter? I was gonna say, you old liver spot repository. <laughs> you better get dressed. You don't want to shock Gold into another coma as soon as she wakes up, do you? <sighs> Wasn't that awesome before? I suppose. Ah, you're unhappy, aren't you? Unhappy doesn't even come close. I certainly would be in your place. <laughs> After all, you slept through all the cool action. Come on, give me a smile. Why should I? My cutter is wrecked. Aw, oh, it's not the end of the world. The world is ending. Not until tomorrow morning. And there's nothing to eat here. And I'm hungry. Ugh, complain, complain, complain. You almost sound like my ex-girlfriend, Tony. Or my ex-best friend, Wenzel. Or anybody else who spent a lot of time with me. And that doesn't make you think. <laughs> a whole lot more would have to happen to make me think. Yeah, that was my impression too. Now, don't you think we should get dressed? I can't. My clothes are in the laundry. And if I bring them to you, will you finally cover up then? Why should I? You must be freezing. Not really. There's a draft from the holes in the window, but the putrid air from that heater balances it out. What if the heater goes out? Why don't you just tell me what you're planning? Then you won't have to constantly come up with some crazy scheme. Yeah, but where's the fun in that? I mean, where's the kick? Where's the challenge? I'm telling you, you're gonna catch the whooping pox. Rubbish. My tongue would be completely blue. I would have a cough, the sniffles, and a fever. Blue tongue, cough, sniffles, fever. Got it. Rufus, you aren't planning to infect me with whooping pox, are you? Uh, 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 I only said you would catch it. How you do that will be my little secret. Your nakedness is throttling my sense of aesthetics. No, no, don't! <laughs> Especially when you do that thing with your legs. After all, there's a lady present. Goal? She seems rather absent to me. And as long as she is, why would you begrudge me a little leg room? <laughs> you have no idea how hard it is to find pants that fit in my size. All right. There's an absent lady present. But is that a reason to asphyxiate her? She's already blushing. Um, Rufus, I think you're standing on her breathing tube. Huh? I, whatever. This isn't about any stupid tubes. This is about, uh, um... Leg room? Exactly. Not that I have any less leg room. I'm thinking about Doc, too. Don't worry about my leg room, boy. Speaking of which, how come we never see your legs, Doc? Let's just leave it at that. Don't worry. Whatever. Ah, do whatever you want. Okay. Except that thing with your legs! Ugh, anything but that! <laughs> Didn't you just say you were hungry? What? You heard that? Oh, yeah. They call it selective perception. Sort of a mental superpower that separates the wheat from the chaff. Chaff in the left half of your brain. 
Quitna right. <laughs> yeah, ain't I something? If you want to get me something to eat, there's a pie vending machine in the basement. Eh, we'll see. First, I have to find out if that will get me anywhere. What? Well, I bring you something to eat, and then I also get something out of it. That's the way it works. What about a good feeling for having done a friend a favor? Huh? No, not like that. I meant something useful. A uh, bait fish or something. May I borrow your bag? Sure, go ahead. So far, you've only taken away my home and my livelihood. Why not also take the bag with the last of my possessions? Hey, <laughs> cool. Thanks. Very considerate. Ah, it's stained. Hey. That was irony. I thought as much. Yeah, maybe next time you shouldn't put it next to the toilet when you're taking a pee. No, Rufus. I need the one-third screwdriver for the operation. And I need it to randomly combine with items. I said, hands off. All right, all right. Hello, reception? You are a dead man. I'm what? <laughs> Little joke. This is reception, of course. Always at your service, unless you're the guy stuck in the elevator. Elevator? I haven't seen an elevator here. Neither have I. That's why I can't help you. Please get off the line. Wait, I'm calling from my room. Well, well that's different then. What's your room number? Room 5. Really? You loser. Uh, how can I help you? I'd like to eat something. <laughs> You've got guts. I like that. Have you picked up your menu for reception? We urgently need fresh towels. Oh, then you're in the wrong hotel. We haven't had anything like that for years. But well, what am I supposed to take home as a souvenir? Well, how about an infectious disease? Believe me, you'll remember us for years to come, provided the world hasn't ended by then. Can I do anything else to you? Tell me, you wouldn't happen to have a plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay? Hmm, it's possible. Wait a moment while I check in the basement. Hey, I can hear you breathing in the receiver. Mm, you caught me. Nevertheless, you still have to pay your bill for internal telephone calls. Can I do anything else to you? Oops. <laughs> Wrong number. No problem. That happens a lot. We think it's because of the electromagnetic radiation from the nuclear waste dump. Or the Indian burial ground. One of those. Mammoth fur? Really? And whoop de doo All right. thing I need. And the suit must be cleaned on a cold wash. Do I make myself clear? As clear as clay. My assistant will pick it up tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, fill out the registration up and boss and take good care of the bag with the money. Apparently only rabble work in this so-called hotel. Somebody works here? Excuse me, Inspector, but isn't that the bag with my plasma exchange will be do mammoth fur? Don't be silly, Oppenbot. The bags are identical. Yours is already in our room. And that's where I'm going to retire. Now. I hope it isn't as shabby as the service here. Whew. Close shave. I hate that stuck-up idiot. Better stay alert. He must be looking for gold. But at least I know where I can get that plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay. I don't think much of modern art, but the 
This is good. It's drawn from the perspective of a person who unsuspectingly opens the urn of his dear departed mother and then dies of a heart attack because of the spring-loaded flowers popping out at him. <laughs> what a pity it's hanging so crooked. Aha! Here, we have the perpetrator! Huh, a nut. That probably holds the key panel out front in reception. Or the clock. Or both of them. Let's see if there's anything left in here. There actually was something left in there. <laughs> Dust! Rufus 1, Entropy 0. You can find the craziest stuff in the trash. Huh, a pelican. That's not crazy. Mildly odd, maybe. Are you ever coming out of there? Don't rush me! I'm suffering from severe temporal diarrhea. Temporal diarrhea? Yes! I'm a time traveler. You mean, you come from the future? Nonsense! Oh, hold on. There is no future. I came from the past to watch the end of the world. Ah, uh, here we go again. Then you're in the wrong place. I'm the guy who's going to prevent the end of the world. Oh! Mm. That would be very nice of you. Mm. I'm stuck here, you know. Why? Is your time machine clogged? Not exactly. Mm. There's no more toilet paper. Hey. That was irony. Naturally, I don't believe a word you've said. Well... It wasn't exactly the whole truth. Ha! I knew it! There's... One roll of toilet paper left. But it's as rough as sandpaper. Oh! Oh, and I had the chili during the toxic and civil war! Oh. Hey, 
What's going on here? Boom, hum, kumbaya. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, you, uh, <laughs> you friendly hooded people who clearly belong to a, uh, non-violent organization. Um, are you standing in line for the washing machine? Boom, hum, kumbaya. Dooba, 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 uh, you wouldn't mind if I, if I go first, right? Okay. Act weird once for sure. No problem, pal. Boom, hum, kumbaya. Cool. <laughs> then if if I could just. Uh... Boom, hum, kumbaya. No. Darn. Wow! Freshly washed! <laughs> I don't see a difference. Here, I got your clothes from the laundry. Now, please get dressed. It is a bit drafty. I think the heater is on the blink. But, well, for a real pirate. You? A pirate? Who convinced you of that rubbish? Oh, it was you. Oh, <laughs> right. Ask a stupid question. I'm honored that you're trying to emulate me. But face the fact, you'll never be a go-getter like me. Come on. Crawl into your soft and cuddly placenta fur coat, and... Ah, forget it. Now I'm definitely gonna sit here in the cold. I don't even care if I catch the whooping pox. Hey, Doc! <sighs> Cletus is here. He's moved into the room next door. He's probably looking for gold. Did he see you? See me? Yeah, you're talking to the master of disguise, the human cloak of invisibility. Sneakity sneaker, the sneak attack on the soft underbelly of injustice. Hey, keep it down in there. Well, <laughs> you know. Uh, Rufus, maybe it would be better if you stayed in the room for now. Rubbish! You want a, a plasma desma dimmy thingy? Well, I will get you a plasma desma thingy. But Rufus... Shh, you don't want Cletus to hear you, do you? Hello, reception? Always at your service. What's your room number? Room one. Oh, the inspector again. If this is about the bedding, those aren't spots. Just a pattern, which reminds me, do you often sleep with your mouth open? If so, then... Yeah, 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 fine. This isn't about the bedding. Ah, all the better. How can I help you? Is our laundry done yet? How should I know? I thought it was part of the service. Ah, the service. Yes, I've heard a lot about that, but nothing that has convinced me that it actually exists. I suggest you pick up your laundry yourself, instead of relying on some mystic New Age pipe dream. Can I do anything else to you? I would like to speak to my assistant. Yeah, of course. I'll send him down to your room if that's all right. Oh, why don't you? And I tell him to sing the Dum Bum song on the way. <laughs> I'll pass that along. Thank you. At last. Now reception should be free. I just have to make sure I don't run into that Oppenbach. Here comes the dum bum, the dum bum, the dum bum, the dum bum. The doopy dim doopy dim doopy dim doopy dim doopy dim dum bum. Yes, 
What is it? You summoned me to your room? No, I did not. But you did. You just called to reception. I would certainly know what I have or have not done. I'm starting to think you're suffering from acute processor overload. But I heard your voice myself. If you aren't sure what my voice sounds like, then listen, and listen well. Never bother me again without a good reason. Understood? Yes, of course, but... But what? Ah, the guest from number five. Don't worry, the headaches go away after a few days. What? Uh, no, I I'm here about the menu. <laughs> That's funny. Most guests are gone because of the menu, you know? And our old cook is even in prison because of the menu. Can I have the menu or not? Lickety shit. You just have to sign this waiver form first. Ah, that's a snot rag. Yeah, well, there are just too many possibilities for being harmed by our meals. A form would be way too much work. And our lawyer suffers from depression, so we just copy the guest signature onto the appropriate waiver later. Very economical thinking. And please sign with a W in front. Uh, excuse me? Uh, Rufus? Yeah, the drawer for R is stuck. Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Thanks. Here comes the dum bum the dum bum the dum bum the dum bum. Well, folks, I've got to go. <laughs> Finally. The dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim, dum bum. Hello, reception? Always at your service. What's your room number? Room one. Oh, the inspector again. How can I help you? Uh, I would like to order something sinfully expensive sent to my room. Mm, actually, we don't offer any services in this hotel. But if you want, I can simply tack on a horrendous surcharge to your bill. The item will then appear as an accounting error. Oh, that would be very nice. Oh, uh, no problem. I would have done it anyway. Standard procedure, if you know what I mean. Can I do anything else to you? I would like to dine now. Have you selected something from the menu? I'll uh, <laughs> have the fish brain stew, please. All right, it's your life. Meal will be served at 12 on the dot. Please be on time. The dining room is guest to cockroaches, and the stew loves to chase those critters around the room. Yes, fine. Uh, please notify me in good time. All right, who am I to deny such a courageous man his last wish? Remember, room one, Cletus. 12 o'clock, Cletus. Fish brain stew, shovel, trash bag, all written down. I'll call you. 12 o'clock, understood. Thank you very much. The quality of this pillowcase is outstanding. So many head lice can't be wrong. There's also a care label with six symbols. That's funny, I'm not familiar with any of them. See what Bozo carries around. Underwear, a three person tent. No, no, wait, that's even more underwear. But hey, what's this? Shampoo! Do I hold here in my hands the secret of his gleaming curls? Let's see if it appreciates me spicing things up a little.
Don't mention it. Too late. The pelican has eaten it. Eh, it's my own fault. Curse my culinary talent. Uh, may I? My goodness. Pretty snappy for somebody who doesn't have any teeth. But just you wait. I'll stuff your big mouth. Here, this should work. Oh, that's nice and soft. Ha! Thank you. I can finally continue my journey. Here, take this. Huh? What's this? Your change. I didn't use it all. And now, off to new shores. Farewell, end times person. Hey, Hulk, stop! Oh, great. He's gone. If I didn't constantly imagine things like that, I would probably be really worried now. Rats, the coin is too big. What good is small change if it isn't small enough? Holy junk, the flush isn't working right. There must be a leak somewhere in the pipes. is a bit rough. Wow, that even outdoes the pharmacy magazine of the blind drugstore owner. And that was insane. Maybe... Ha! It worked! Now that's what I call the inflationary use of bathroom humor. Finally! All this money changing has made me really hungry. I think I'll let Bozo go first. Icing on the pie. It does cause a slight fever, but it's also good for your teeth. You can never have enough pepper. <laughs> oh, don't panic. Oh, it all landed on the pie. And here we have a very special treat for the taste buds. <laughs> Eat my dust, all you uninspired, risk-averse cooks! There! Time for a break, herring breath! <laughs> That's what you get, bird brain! Ugh, slimy! Let's see if I can make something tasty out of it. Ugh, it consists entirely of fermenting gas. Now all that's left are the scales. Mm. 
flaky dandruff in a bald man's hood. Ingenious. If there was such a thing as self-marriage, I would propose to myself. Could I bother you again? Yes, you seem to have a penchant for that. I think you look just fine. Oh, you think so? Hmm. Maybe you're right. I... Oh, yeah. What is that? Oh, I have dandruff. This is a catastrophe. And I swapped all the hotel shampoo for cigarettes on the bright market. Don't just stand there. Do something. Shampoo! My salvation! Out with you! I have to shower! Ha <laughs> 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 The ghost is doing his haunting thing. I won't bother him now. Paranoid twit. The arrival of the destroyer is nigh. Ooga, 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 shiny. The arrival of the destroyer is nigh. So nigh. Ooga, 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 a court like this and you be a good boy and stay in there mr. toffee okay mr. toffee <gasps> where'd he go That brings us to phase three of my ingenious plan. I call it poetic injustice. Could I bother you again? Yes, you seem to have a penchant for that. I think you look just fine. Oh, you think so? Hmm. Maybe you're right. I... Oh, yeah. What is that? Oh, my scalp itches. I have... Rice! Good thing I have this new miracle shampoo. And now, off with you. I have to shower. The 
arrival of the destroyer is nigh. Ooga, 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 shally. The arrival of the destroyer is nigh. So nigh. Ooga, 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 shallali. Ooga, 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 shallala. Now, <laughs> let the party begin. <laughs> Does he bear the holy relics engraved with the insignia six? The what? Oh, the relics. Yeah, wait a minute. I just need to check that myself. <laughs> what, what sort of relics were those again? The holiest of sacred relics. Engraved with the insignia six. Here I go with my psychedelic lyrics about relics. They're so mad they'll make your head ache. Yeah, you better call a med ache. You're gonna take a pill or you're gonna get sick. For we are a sect addicted to the relics with the six insignia. Uh, what? Shh. Why? Didn't we agree on me having a rap solo? So you want relics? All right, if that's all. There was a really funny joke here in the original German version. <laughs> Unfortunately, it got lost in translation. There's also a care label with six symbols. That's funny, I'm not familiar with any of them. Holy relics with the insignia six. What am I supposed to do? A fishing expedition? In there? You know, this is where I draw the... Oh, wait a minute. That is a toilet freshener. Oh, man. Who throw something that cool into a toilet bowl? Oh, wait. It needs artificial coloring. Please, the eye. What have you got there? Something to eat. What else? A pie? Huh. That's really nice of you. Blah. This hotel slop isn't <coughs> very <coughs> tasty. On the contrary, I suddenly feel so... <coughs> How do I feel? 
sick? Uh, uh, I think uh, I have uh, a fever. Is my tongue blue? Uh, yeah, like Doc on Barbecue Thursday when there's no more beer. No argument from me. Oh, no. It's the whooping pox, and I'm cold, too. You were right. I need to get dressed as quickly as possible. Could you maybe find my clothes? Oh, the things you do for your friends. Here, I got your clothes from the laundry. Now, please get dressed. Yeah. <coughs> Probably right. Thanks, Ruthless. You really are a good friend. Told you so. Here's my towel. The towel is rock hard. Fortunately, there's soft moss growing on it. There's also a care label with six symbols. That's funny, I'm not familiar with any of them. at the same time as Cletus's suit, preferably before I start to shrink. Choose the holy relic. At least I got Cletus's clothes. Ah, uh, hello? You don't have to hide. It's me, your Rufikins. <laughs> ah, screw you.
Hey, the art isn't making the guest feel like he's a king. Always nice, always friendly. Later, you can spit on their towels. Or their food, of course. A very enlightening. Speaking of which, I have an order. Whoa, I'll be a platypus's uncle. It's already past noon. Mr. Cletus? Your meal is ready. It's waiting for you in the dining room. What meal? The one you ordered, you joker. Rat meat? Certainly not. Believe me, you'll think it tastes heavenly. Of course. Take your time. You see, that's how you do it. Always friendly. Select your phraseology. And when in doubt, fly. <laughs> Revenge is a dish best served with fish byproducts. Wet the duck! Don't tell me you're already finished with your meal. I was very hungry. Yeah, our meals will remedy that very quickly. I bet you can hardly wait to get back to your room. Here's your key. You'll find paper bags under the bed. What the? Come on! The guy at reception gave me the wrong key! And here is the inspector once again. What a surprise! Is everything to your satisfaction? Yeah, nothing is to my satisfaction. You gave me the wrong key, you clod. Great snot, you're right. One moment. I'll fix that right away. Uh, I think I need a taste bud transplant. Did you say something? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> How about a juicy conversation? Before you give me the key, I'd love to hear your opinion on the major societal problems of the day. Once I return, that is. <laughs> the heck? Did I manage to choke down your chow? I'd like to know that myself. Come on, give me my room key. I need to rinse out my mouth as quickly as possible. I was just about to do that. But first, I would like to present you with a couple of my theories as promised. What? <laughs> quickly now. I have to stop Cletus from getting the right key. Did you know that broccoli was originally a failed military experiment? Poltergeists, earthquakes, and cosmic radiation as well. And that doesn't even begin to answer your question. What was it again? Can I have the key for my room? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm not feeling myself today. Lucky you. Oh, you're back again. Don't tell me there's another problem. Um, there most certainly is. You gave me the wrong key again. That's impossible. May I see? Uh, of course. Here. 
Well, I'll be a junkie's uncle. It must be because of my medication. I knew it was a mistake changing dealers. And can I have my key now? Just a moment. As soon as the effect dies down, the numbers should be back where they belong. I don't want to make a mistake this time. Shouldn't we perhaps consider changing hotels after all, Inspector? There is something strange going on here. Calm yourself, Offenbach. The only strange thing going on here is your hand. Plus time shift, minus leap year, 12 up, 6 down. Perfect! The clock is working again! And here is your key. Please check it yourself. Yes, this is what it looks like. Um, and if I ever claim otherwise, you are welcome to flash me. Really? Offenbot is my witness. Isn't that right, Offenbot? Um, why not? I have already witnessed so many strange things today that... Uh, what? Where did we go? Is everything all right, Inspector? Nothing is all right. You've given me the wrong key again. Really now? Burglars, king of the dog burglars, king of the uh, other member of the animal kingdom burglars, Rufus! Ha! The bag! Finally! Now quick, before Cletus comes back. Uh-oh. Approaching footsteps. Darn. That's Cletus. I need a place to hide. Blah! Another bite of this slop, and I'll have to brush my teeth! I should have known they couldn't cook in this dump. It's a good thing I have my champagne truffles with me, otherwise I would starve. I never thought I'd own mothballs. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't seem to bother the moth. Tip top rug remedy the rug cleaner for people with short life expectancy. Hmm. Do not use enclosed rooms without adequate ventilation. Warning tip top rug remedy can produce toxic chloroform gas when in contact with dust, dirt, children's skin, carpet and carpet-like textiles, and oh, this is interesting, <laughs> toothpaste. According to the warning label, this should produce an interesting chemical reaction. Oh boy, this is gonna be great! Huh? What now? No hiss? No explosion? Well, at least it smells good. Sort of like the flower power shower shower <laughs> Hey, he uses the same toothpaste as the guru. Thank <laughs> you. 
What's going on? Uh, champagne truffles don't taste like that. <laughs> I have to brush my teeth. Quick, quick, quick! More toothpaste! <laughs> Huh? This stuff should have already taken effect. Oh no! I'm such an idiot. I swapped the toothpaste while I was swapping. I sort of switch swap. Oh no. Wow. Maybe I shouldn't have put so much on my own toothbrush. <clears throat> What's the... <clears throat> huh? Huh? Was that me? Must have been. Even unconscious, I'm still a secret weapon. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mr. Cletus? Are you there? Is everything all right? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, yes, I'm, I'm fine. What is it? I need the money bag. I have to put down a payment on the rooms. Uh, no problem. Here. And now leave me in peace. I'm busy. Very well, sir. Whew. Finally. <laughs> I knew that would work. It wasn't exactly easy, but I'm an expert when it comes to hairy situations. Doc Jaw will hit the floor. Man, he'll say, Rufus, you really do make the impossible possible. Finally, you've got me this, uh, thing. <laughs> What's it called again? Uh, underwear? Damn it! The idiot took the wrong bag! I just cannot believe this! Please believe me, no one is trying to pull a fast one on you. There must have been a mix-up. I'm sure that the inspector can explain everything. He certainly can. Ah, Mr. Cletus, I'm so glad you're here. Apparently, there has been a mix-up with the bags. Uh, no problem, I'll sort this out. Hang on a minute, please. A call, huh? It's coming from your room. Oh, then it's, uh, for me. <coughs> Hello? Uh, I, uh, I, uh, uh, uh. Yes, yes, this is, um, Offenbot. A what? Uh, no. Oh, no, no. Is it possible? Uh, simply gone? Is it for me? Uh, come here. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, I, I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> Just stay in your room. I, uh, hello? Who was that? Um, um, uh, wrong number. Uh, please wait here for a moment, Offenbot. <laughs> I'll be right back. <coughs> and I'll uh, probably be coming from the other direction. What? But... Uh, I must admit, this is all a bit much for me. Uh, oh, well, that was fast. Offenbot, what's going on here? That's what I was just going to ask you. Wait, is that the bag with the money? I'm afraid it still isn't, no. Did you take the bag from my room? But you know that. All that I know is that someone stole my bag. I'm completely confused. <laughs> when chaos floods order, genius mounts a surfboard.
Hey, Doc, I've got your plasma exchange mammoth whoopee cushion thingy. What's going on here? Rufus, the operation was a success. I'm finally my old self again. Yay! Yay? <laughs> Yay, yeah, super. But how do you... Yeah, well that... Doc, tell me, did you actually need the mammoth fur relay? Mammoth fur what? Well, uh, funny story. Oh, I can't believe you wanted to get rid of me. What? Yeah, exactly. You gave me a pointless mission so I wouldn't get in your way. That is so mean. Is that true, Doc? Bozo. Well, we thought... And I thought you were his friends. Oh, come on, Gold. You know what he's like. No matter what he touches, it always ends in chaos. He wrecked my cutter. Nya, 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 nya. Really now, is that the level we're on? Let me tell you something about Rufus. He is... he... Where did he go? Forward, and make it snappy. Spiky's uvula with two bits! Later, perhaps. Ah, room one. Wonderful. That rotten bunch of traitors! Ugh! I... Oof! I... Uh oh. Ah, Cletus, there you are. Rufus, wait for me. Uh, I'm sorry, Doc and Bozo. Uh... Oh. And I see you have found your fiance. Excellent. Ow! What's going on out here? Can't anyone in this blasted. What the? You! Come on, go. Let's get out of here. Jugular rat go! Whoop, whoop, whoop! You! Stop! Stay where you are! We must get rid of Cletus. I'm working on it. Jacular Raku! <laughs> no, please! This is a case of mistaken identity! Go! What are you doing here? Uh-oh! Hey, come back! Ow! Oh, that was painful. I wish I could set this mad woman on Cletus somehow. Walk away. Gotcha! This is a mistake. I, I don't even know you. Hammer the shammer. at last. What is this ridiculous game of hide-and-seek? What's going on here? Uh... That woman obviously has it in for us. Uh, right. W w w what she said. Can't you take better care of your prisoners? My prisoners? You're the one who dragged her along. And anyway, where is she now? She must have taken the wrong door. Huh, just as well. Now there's nothing standing in the way of our departure. Departure? To Port of Fisco, of course. The last high boat to Elysium is waiting for you there. Unless you would rather stay here. Actually, it's like this. Um, Gold, can I talk to you for a second? This is our chance. He'll escort us straight to Port of Fisco and put us in the high boat himself. And what if your cover's blown? There'll never be a better opportunity. All right, we'll risk it. Don't worry, Rufus is here. And promise me you will behave authentically and dignified, like Cletus. <clears throat> Forsooth, my good man. Then let us promenade back to your noble steed. 
My chivalric blood seethes already. Yes. After you. isn't half bad. Before a champ decamps to adventure and enters the lion's den, he attends an obscure purification ritual. Yeah, that's a habitual narrative. We'll look it up, it's for sure. Polished to utmost cleanliness and dressed up as his nemesis, he chose backed by gold to go out on a limb and that they had to leave their friends of old out in the cold was basically their fault. Advance never hold because breaks are for wimps. Because breaks are for wimps. needs those crumbs. Oh, look at me. I'm Doc. I'm a know-it-all and a legless wonder. Oh, look at me. I'm Bozo. I have hair like an Elysian unicorn and can make fart sounds on my bass fiddle. Now don't be so upset. I think it's sad you parted in anger. But believe me, they're going to change their minds. At the latest, when they wake up the day after tomorrow with a planet under their feet. Huh. We'll see. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad after all if the Organon blew this whole junk heap to smithereens. Rufus! I didn't really mean it. So, uh, what's it like on Elysium? <laughs> You'll see soon enough. Is it true that they have fountains that shoot drinking water into the air? Rufus, I can't concentrate. Yeah, uh, what are you doing anyway? I'm writing my report to the Council of Elders. <laughs> Boring. It will only take a moment. You can get the bed ready. <laughs> the, uh, the bed? As in, who's been sleeping in my bed? Yes, of course the bed. We should be well rested when we get to Elysium. Uh, and, and, and you and me? I mean, we, we? The, the two of us are going to share a bed? To sleep, Rufus. Got it? Just to sleep. Yeah, sure, naturally. Yeah, sure. Why else? Oh, go! The bed is ready! Don't even try to sweet talk me. We're just going to sleep, understood? You already said that. Yes, but you didn't listen to me. And kindly keep your pants on, will you? Even if it's only because of the security cameras. Security cameras? You, you mean we're being filmed? And, and somebody's watching it? Maybe not right at this moment, but I'm sure that they record everything and view it on a regular basis. And, uh, <laughs> of course, it, it would have been really silly if I had taken off my disguise, huh? Yeah, that would ruin everything. Unless someone got into the computer core in time to delete the recording, right? Um, is there something you want to tell me, Rufus? No, 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 you, you go ahead and, uh, finish your report. I, I, I'll do something, uh, reasonable. Nothing like making my way into the computer core <laughs> or anything like that. <clears throat> Quite the contrary. I'll be doing something boring. <laughs> something that won't make you suspicious. <laughs> May I? Why do you need a letter opener now? To open my mail. What else? What mail? <laughs> Me mail. What do you mean? Well, me, male, you, female. <laughs> Get it? Heavens, I'm so unsettled that I find that sweet.
or just a washstand. But hey, there's a coffee dispenser. Well now, what have we here? Coffee from plastic cups? I thought I was traveling first class. Oh. Can I help you? Um, uh, wh 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 what, are you what are you doing here? Guarding the door, Inspector. Ah, I see. All right. Can I help you in any way? Well, you could step aside. I want to check whether everything is ship shape on the cruiser. Not possible. The bailiff has ordered that all guests must remain in their cabins. What? But, uh, uh... What's the meaning of this? Why are you blocking my way? Orders from Bailiff Argus. He's worried that intruders have obtained unauthorized access to the cruiser. Uh, intruders? <laughs> Inconceivable. No, don't worry. We'll catch them. Even if we have to search every single cabin. Did you just say you're searching for intruders? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Maybe, maybe not. At worst, they're Deponian rebels. Annoying, but harmless. So no worries, Inspector. We'll have everything under control. And you'll be safe, as long as you remain in your cabin. Are you also going to search our cabin? What for? Have you got anything to hide? What, me? No, no, well, uh, go, go ahead. This won't take long. Huh, there's no one else here. Uh, pardon my distrust, Inspector. I'll return to my post, if that's all right with you. Yeah, that could work. Ouch. Huh. End of the line. Wow. What's all this? This must be the computer core. Uh, cool location. <laughs> I bet this is a great spot for parties. <laughs> Cleanliness seems to be a high priority around here. The doormat is so clean you could eat off of it. <laughs> Oops. What the? Oh, boy. They've actually got a special robot for cleaning the doormats. <laughs> Looks cool. A less astute observer than me could easily get the idea that someone is hiding in the closet, which in principle means everybody. So it should be easy to find a victim for my little prank. Uh, but where? <laughs> That was a good scare, but it's just the shoes. Can I help you? Are you going to search our cabin again? What for? Do you think I missed something? No, no, well, uh, go, go ahead. This won't take long. Aha! I knew it! There's someone hiding in the closet! Huh, no there isn't. How would they have got in here anyway? But what's this? Someone has fled through the air duct! Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? Did you see that goal? Did I see what? What have you been doing back there? Uh, nothing. I didn't just overpower the guard outside the door in a really cool way. Uh, to say nothing of locking him up in the bed box. Oh, no way. If I had done that, then you, you should have seen me because it was awesome. <laughs> or it would have been. I, I didn't do it, of course, you know. <laughs> of course not. Otherwise, I'm sure you would have said something super cool. Nighty night. Or sweet dreams. Something like that. Yeah, exactly. I, uh... Uh... Oh, shh. 
Shoot, she's right. No doubt about it. I'm going in circles. I guess I'll have to think of something else. Is that really a drink holder? Sweet! <laughs> the Blind Spot of Sisyphus, an installation by Raphael Rumbrand, the great critic of our modern performance-oriented society. It's out of coffee. I'd better fill her up then. I could swear that this door led somewhere else. Looks like the interior designer screwed up. Finally! I'm a genius! I always knew it! Ah, there you are. What are you up to? I, uh, uh, sightseeing? You wanted to delete the security video from our cabin that shows you without your disguise, right? What? <laughs> no! You don't have to hide these things from me. No matter what you've done, we're a team now. Really? Even that I trimmed my toenails over your breakfast cereal? Uh, we'll talk about that later. For now, let's focus on how we can get the video data. Oh yeah, good idea. This place must be crawling with... <laughs> ...security systems. <laughs> Was that me? That's not so good, is it? The alarm still hasn't gone off yet. We're probably safe as long as you don't mess with the terminals. Well, what do I do now? Hey, try to distract the cameras. Then perhaps I can reach a terminal unnoticed. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Cameras love me. I'm the more photogenic of the two of us anyway. Hey, it looks like they can only move at a 45 degree angle. Walk along the wall and they'll follow you. <laughs> Easy peasy. First I need to go to the terminal on the left. Let me know when you've cleared the way. Okie doke. Oh, now! Oh, now! Huh, this 
works better than I thought. Yeah, and it's pretty groovy too. Diddle 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 diddle. The roof is roof is roof is. Diddle diddle roof is. Um. Roof is. Yeah 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 da 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 da. Oh. Wonderful. The grace, the discretion, the ability to ignore the entire world around oneself. Are we ta- oh. <coughs> Are we talking about the same world, Argus? The one you want to blow up? Touché, Cletus, but I wonder where this change of heart comes from. I, I, I'm full of surprises. Oh, like a circus horse. It's a shame that we don't have any time for this. Take the girl to the bridge. Miss Gold, if you would be so kind. Yeah, yeah. Goal. You'll think of something. And what do we do with this scum? He is no longer needed. Get rid of him. Yeah, I, I think he meant that in the uh, metaphorical sense. <laughs> Move. You're coming with us. No, no, wait. wait please, please. Just, just wait. <laughs> We're not here to negotiate. Yeah, but, but don't I get a last request? I know I'm going to regret this. Now, what is it? A last cup of coffee. Well, there's no reason why not. Hey! <laughs> you just spilled your last request, you fool. You... Ah! In a stressful situation, nothing beats a good cup of coffee. I do not wish to be disturbed. Understood? Not for any reason. Not by anyone. Uh, uh, yes, the bailiff, sir. With the exception of the interrogator, of course. Where is he, anyway? The interrogator has been requested and is on his way, bailiff. I should hope so. And if I have to conduct the interrogation alone again, I shall become quite unpleasant. Then you can draw lots to see who gets to clean the bridge afterwards. The Organon won't be out of commission for long. I'd better get a move on. Shatter their eye sockets! Shush, you lunatic ninny. We have to be quiet. Why are you following me anyway? Rufus belongs to me. Understand? Stab him in the diaphragm! Tear off his nostrils! <laughs> Although I must admit that your suggestions do not lack a certain creativity. Uh-oh, Cletus and Donna. How the heck did they get here? Huh. You still haven't seen me. I better take help. Very good. That should suffice as a hiding place. But first, I'm gonna ditch this horrible outfit. And now, take cover. Ah, there you are. That's what I was about to say. Now I have something urgent to tell you. I am the real Cletus. That other chap was merely an imposter. Uh, if you say so, so you'll no longer resist coming with me. Resist? I insist upon it. Uh-huh. Well then, move it. Gladly. <laughs> that went well. And now I... Huh? huh? Wow, a bunk. How original. Would you like to make a complaint, Miss Gold? My nose itches. Miss Gold, stop bleating. 
You'll have a genuine reason soon enough. Ah, the interrogator. Finally. Leave us alone, bridge guard. Yes, sir, bailiff, sir. Let me go, Argus. Do you have any idea how many innocent lives are at stake? Do you even care? Have you no conscience? <laughs> Quite the contrary, my dear. I am not who you think I am. Rufus? Or, no, Cletus? Uh, who? Neither. Bailiff Argus. The right hand of Prime Controller, Ulysses. You do know Ulysses, don't you? You know that he is the actual monster in this little play. For years, I have stood quietly by and watched how the extermination of an entire people was prepared, merely to allow a privileged few to enjoy a better life. I know Ulysses better than anyone else. I know how he thinks. Only I can put an end to this madness. But for that, I need the Ascension Codes. But then we're on the same side. Why didn't you let Rufus and me finish what we were doing? Rufus, I shudder at the very name. I will not leave the salvation of 11,000 souls to that blundering would-be hero. Wow, 11,000 people. So many. Rufus rescued me, you know. Is that a joke? This Rufus has caused you nothing but grief. He's not trying to help you. He's only using you to escape his own miserable existence. But... Come with me, girl. I will accompany you to Elysium as your fiancé. You know, I could take the Ascension Codes without your consent. But you're a clever girl. You understand that I am the perfect choice for this mission. I... I can't. Why not? Because... Because... Uh... Why? I've got to do something. If only I knew what all these buttons are for. Hey, stop! I'm not doing anything. It's the machine. It just went crazy. Mm, uh, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. I said stop it. Stop. No. Huh? What was that? What's happening to me? Miss Girl, stay with me. You have been injected with an overdose of sodium amytol. You must stay with me now. Do you hear me? Stay with me! Mm, no. What? Why not? Because... Goal! Because... I love Rufus. Goal! No, stop! Uh, Goal! God! Get this Goal. useless scrap bin out of my sight at once! Throw it overboard! Goal. Immediately! What have I done? Goal! What have I done? Regarding Gold's death and the loss of the Ascension Codes, I desist from my usual bomb modes. Things were in a mess, the tightness in his chest was no less as big as the Colossus of Rhodes. And as he fell from the skies, his life flashed before his eyes. He left of hope, no courage left to black up. He did finally comprehend, this was a definite end. Came over this time, he completely fucked up. This time, he completely fucked up. Hell, of course.
Light at the end of the tunnel. Kill. It's only an illuminated button. Ah! This isn't hell after all. It's some kind of factory. And a crappy one at that. Could this mean that I'm not dead after all? Can somebody explain what's going on? You! Stop! Wait! Don't move! I demand some answers! Oh, rats. Hello? Quit playing games with me! Oh, I've got company. How nice. Nothing is nice here. But you know you're alive again. Isn't that fantastic? No, it's not. I should be dead. Calm yourself. How about a cup of peppermint tea? It's relaxing and refreshes your breath. There's nothing better when you've only just come back from the dead. I don't need no stinking peppermint. I want answers! Where am I? Welcome to my humble abode. You live here? Nice place, huh? This used to be the facility where the Organon was created. A clone factory, in fact. Ugh. 
It looks more like a waste processing plant. Uh, actually, that's what it is. You need plenty of organic material in order to clone people. <laughs> You're telling me that the Dark Exchequer consists of biological waste? I'd be a little less condescending if I were you, Prototype R. Proto-what? Oh yeah, prototype yourself. I didn't mean to offend you, Rufus. You... you... you know my name? <laughs> of course I do. I'm the one who gave it to you. Wh what are you saying? I admit it's not the most creative name I ever came up with. You're one of a series of prototypes that predated the mass production of the Organon. Only three of them survived. Prototype A, Prototype C, and you. Prototype R. A and C. Argus and Cletus? And R, as in Rufus, exactly. Rufus stands for red-haired. I thought I could tell you apart by the color of your hair, but I never managed to create hair colors that lasted beyond puberty. Unfortunately, that wasn't the only flaw. All the prototypes had problems before I came up with the right composition. The clones were designed as dispensable workers, so I took away your respect for life. Unfortunately, that also meant that many of you were not afraid of death. There were various accidents. Who the crap are you? My name is Hermes. I used to be the head of this clone facility. You've got to be in incredibly old. Technically speaking, I've only lived for two days. I clone myself anew on a regular basis. <laughs> Keeps me young. But my genes are old. The intervals keep getting shorter. Why don't you just die? Why would I want to? I feel absolutely fine. That's not what you look like. Why can't you just accept it? Your life has run its course. On the contrary, I'm in top shape. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, could you for a moment? Thank you. Now, where was I? You're amazingly fit. Ah, yes, exactly. Yeah, that's a fiddle. Why didn't you let me die? You were dead, strictly speaking. I cloned your mortal remains. Yeah, but why? I deserve to be dead. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one should be dead on a beautiful day like this. This isn't a beautiful day. I screwed it all up. Whoa, got a bit of a guilt complex, have we? No matter what you've done, get over it. Life goes on. You call this life? This isn't life. This is a cheap copy of life. A counterfeit. An artificially created imitation. Oh, nothing here is artificial. All my clones are made from organically grown materials. Didn't you say you found the ingredients in the garbage? Biological waste. Organic. 100% natural. Oh, except for the nucleic acid. That is synthesized from radioactive sludge. It's not true! Yes, it is. But it can't be! I'm not like the Organons! I never claimed you were. It's true that your genes are almost identical, you have no respect for life, but you have one thing that they lack completely. Sex appeal. Hope. Yeah, and sex appeal, right? I'm not like Cletus or Argus. Of course not. Cletus originally had green hair and Argus blue. But I wasn't thinking of hair. Look, they're conniving backstabbers, while I'm just totally trustworthy. They're arrogant and conceited, but I'm uh, super modest. They're evil assholes, and I'm... Ah, I'm just too wonderful for... Just stop right there, Rufus. Rufus, you're not identical because you are much more than just the sum of your genes. All your experiences, all your memories add up to form the person you are today. You mean we once were completely identical? 
Only I was capable of learning from my failures? Yes, that's it. Well, close enough, at least. In your case, the gene for learning from your failures wasn't rendered correctly, but the rest is true. Wait, if I'm a clone, wouldn't I have to be very young now? A surprisingly good question. See those containers over there? In them, I simulate the natural process of aging. So you can choose the age of your clones? Exactly. Then why do you look like shit? Uh, don't be so rude. Okay, I'm a clone, right? So why am I still wearing the same coat? Seriously? Oh, not a clothes business again. I create life for crying out loud. You should think that everyone would be totally astounded by that fact. But no, everyone always asks about the outfit. Oh, well, excuse me. Okay, if I'm a clone, why do I remember everything? Oh, you're paying attention. Of course I'm paying attention. That wasn't really intended in your design, but, oh well, the technology is quite simple. I can use a full body scanner like this one to create and save a copy of your entire neural network. In those cloning chambers over there, the newly formed neural pathways are trimmed into the right shape by teeny tiny knives during the maturation process. The process resembles pruning a bonsai tree. The difference being, of course, that the brain is much more complex and it takes me a nanoseconds. Oh, oh, uh, sorry, what, what, what was that after, uh, intended in your design? <laughs> Never mind. It was all for nothing. Deponia's lost, and so's goal. And it's all my fault. Why carry on with this rotten life? Because there is still hope. Life goes on. Life goes on. And how will you make sure of that? Are you going to use that contraption to, to clone all of Deponia? I'll show you what I think of your stupid machine. No, Rufus, don't do that. Stop me if you can. <gasps> don't! Hey! Stop it! No! There! Ha ha ha! Your turn! What have you done? You destroyed everything! This means it was all for nothing! You've got it at last! You were right about everything, except for one little matter. It is all my fault. It was me who, way back when, believed that Deponia was no longer inhabitable, and I came up with the evacuation plan. I designed Elysium. And I created the Organon, and then, when I was done, I started to have second thoughts. I stayed behind on Deponia to look for a better solution. I had all the time in the world, and I messed it up. I have run out of time. I cannot make up for what I have done. I thought that I had deserved to live with my guilt. But even that concept turned out to be overly optimistic. Because where there is life, there is hope. So... What I deserve is to die with my guilt. Go on then. Shh. What? Goal. Yes, that. But but. Goal. She's still dead. What did I expect? But Hermes was going to do something about her. Don't tell me he was going to. I really need to talk to him. It's not over till it's over. Wait! Stop! It's too late, Rufus. You are right. There is no more hope. No! Oh, crap. What do I do now?
Wait! Don't! This is nuts. This is where the tank is filled, and the gauges over there show the levels for the various components. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to follow a recipe for once. This water looks totally different from the water at home. It's fizzy, and it's not green. Hmm, hope it'll do for the clone production. What? Still too soon to clock off? Probably because the holes have closed up since the shift started. Uh, can you punch this for me? Thanks. You set, set a, a new, new overtime, overtime record. record. To, to keep, keep the memory, memory of this grand moment forever fresh in your mind, mind you, you receive an amazing, amazing bonus. Garlic. Garlic, for garlic, garlic helps you remember, remember especially in old age. age. And judging, judging by your, your overtime, overtime, you, you must, must be as ancient as the hills. Enjoy your well-deserved well leisure time. I don't know, this seems a little off to me. Yeah, I knew something was wrong with that stuff. The gauge for minerals rose along with the water gauge. Ah, who cares? I killed two birds with one stone. Hey, little one, are you hungry? Actually, uh, never mind. Eat this. <laughs> Adorable. And here's some more protein. Good thing there isn't a gauge for cholesterol.
Oh, rats. Stop! Hey, what are you doing? Wait for me? Oh, damn it. <laughs> Why don't you just let me go? <laughs> now you know how it feels. Yes, but what else do you want? You said so yourself. All is lost. That's what I thought, but then I found gold. What were you planning? Can she be saved? Oh, you know the girl? She fell from the sky shortly after you. There was a spark of life left in her brain. The rest was pretty much smashed up, so I created a clone, which survived long enough for me to perform a complete scan. Here, your lady friend can be cloned with this. Even though I have no idea what good it would do, Deponia is lost. <laughs> Just leave that to me. It fits like a french fry up a nose. The gauge has started to blink. Does that mean anything? Ah, who cares? I'm sure nothing bad will happen. All right, and in you go. I'm gonna save you, Cole. What's happening now? Something's going wrong. What? What are you doing? One guess. I'm saving gold. But this won't work. There's no nucleic acid left in the machine. So what? It worked for you. Quick, abort the process. The pipes are overheating. The whole thing's about to blow. No! Uh... Gold? Is that you? She failed to mature properly. That's because of the nucleic acid. Where is she now? That pipe leads into the sewers under Portofisco. I'm so sorry, Rufus, but it looks like your girlfriend is lost forever now. No, she's alive. I can still save her. You know, I've still got some nucleic acid left. In theory, you could still use it to mature her. But what about Deponia? The last high boat could take off for Elysium at any moment. You cannot save gold and reach the Ascension Customs at the same time. And even if you could... The Upper Ascension Station houses the Organon's headquarters. You'll never make it in there by yourself. But I'm not just by myself. My Resistance friends are in Port of Fisco. I'll get them to distract the Organon, while Gol and I sneak onto the high boat. And who's going to let them know? Who will save Gol? And who will prevent Argus from leaving on the high boat in the meantime? You can't do it all. There isn't enough time for that. There would have to be three of you. And even if you could, Hmm. Are you sure you really want to go through with this? There isn't enough biomass left in the chamber for three clones. This way, at least I can serve one final purpose. <laughs> You're the ultimate cool guy, Hermes. Let's not get sentimental. Have you got the nucleic acid? Nucleic acid? Check. Very good. Remember? It won't be cloned as well. Only one of the three of you will have it when the process is finished. Don't worry, Hermes. I understood everything. You can rely on me. Oh, I only hope your construction with the sandbags is going to work. If the lever isn't activated... It's going to work all right. It has to. In that case, let's not lose any time. Three, two, two one... Here we go! Yep, 
What next? One of you two needs to gather the rebels for a surprise attack. You do it, huh? Why me? I'll go down to the sewers and rescue Gold, but that's my job. No, no it's, mine. it's mine. I'll rescue Gold. I've got the nucleic acid. No, I've got it. But no, Hermes gave it to me. me. Why don't we have a look? One of those two halfwits has got the nucleic acid. But which one? Oh man, I wish I could look right through them somehow. Like by means of a cool new interface element at the lower edge of the screen. <laughs> I knew it! I guess this means I'll get to save Goal. Not so fast. Hey! Hey! Ugh! Well, what do you know now? That's mind-boggling news, but I'm sure you can cope. Just put on your slickers and hitch up your knickers, for once more their flickers a speckle of hope. Well, things do look black, you need someone to check on the vibes at the tunnels and and if by hap it turns out to be a cloning lab, you can prep for a quantum step. For three times the reverse, the three times the jab. Huzzah, three times the crap. No, no, damn it! Goal? Is that you? Man, it's dark here. <coughs> Goal, we have to be careful. Who knows what sort of dangerous beasts are lurking in the dark? <sighs> Do you have a problem, Bozo dear? No. Thank you, Mrs. Mook. Let the boy do his business in peace, woman! Oh, I thought he needed help! I'll manage. It's just... You're afraid! Aren't you, Sonny? Uh, yes. Of going party? No. Of the end of the world, you moron! No, no. It's just... Uh... uh it doesn't matter. Don't even think about it! Uh. Yoo-hoo! You weren't expecting that, were you? Boy, you've really got a lot of... ...cheek. Hey! It wasn't exactly pleasant for me, either. What an ass. Going on here? Oh, look, Grandpa. We have visitors. Mm. 
more, then I better put on my pants, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Are you a friend of Bozo? <laughs> Bozo doesn't have any friends. <laughs> I mean that gifted tinkerer he talks about. Yep, that's me, Rufus. Where is the old pirate? Pirate? That chump? <laughs> chump? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Bozo is upstairs in his bed. Crying like a little girl. <laughs> Speaking of which, can somebody get me out of here for crying out loud? So, you must be Bozo's mother, right? Mm, guess again. His, uh, aunt? His, uh, wicked stepmother? Uh, a burglar? His parole officer? No, 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 no. His grandma? His food taster? His sister? All of the above? Wait, uh, what was the second to last thing you said? His sister? <laughs> oh, Rufus, you sweet talker. <laughs> Why? I'm his mother, of course. What? But... But you're welcome to call me Mama. As in... <laughs> come to Mama. <laughs> What's wrong with Bozo? Oh, Rufus, I'm at my wit's end. He's been like a different person ever since he came back. The boy won't eat, he won't talk. <laughs> and not even his beloved Fifi Fairy Frill stories cheer him up. <laughs> <laughs> Fifi Fairy Frills. <laughs> I'm gonna make Bozo well again. You're such a nice young man. I wish I had a son like you. <laughs> Do you know the way to the secret rebel camp? But of course. It's down the road, across the square, then straight on. I sometimes bake muffins for the young soldiers. And then she uses them to lay a trail from the camp gate to our house. <laughs> Can you tell me something about Bozo? Of course. What would you like to know? Watch yourself, Rufus. Don't open that can of worms. <laughs> what can? Oh, don't take him seriously. It's not a can. It's just a tin box where we keep the family photos. <laughs> Get out of here, Rufus, before it's too late. <laughs> I didn't even know that Bozo grew up in Puerto Fisco. Didn't he tell you anything? <laughs> no idea. Listening to him is so incredibly exhausting. Oh, that's because his wobbly cheeks press on his jaw. <laughs> he stopped wearing his braces, hasn't he? Yeah, I'll go and remind him. <laughs> Every hour if I have to. <laughs> I had no idea that Bozo has a baby brother. He's the spitting image of Bozo. He sure is. And dribbling, too. That's because all male Bozos have an exceptionally full head of hair. As soon as I start breastfeeding them, it grows like crazy. <laughs> Maybe you should use your breast milk as a... J just a minute. What was the secret ingredient to your special shampoo again? Well, that's a secret. <laughs> I had no idea that Bozo had such a cool mother. Oh, Rufus, you flatterer. <laughs> you certainly know how to cheer up a grieving woman. <laughs> Where's Bozo's father? Missing in action. I'm beside myself with worry. Aww. I'm glad I have so much support from friends. 
who distract me from my grief. What friends would that be? The milkman, the plumber, or the mailman? <laughs> well, you know what they say. You don't leave your good friends hanging. <laughs> Did you know that Bozo has a girlfriend? Really? Yes. Her name is Bambina. She owns a weapons shop in the floating black market. Did you hear that, Grandpa? Bozo has a little lady friend. What? That wimp? <laughs> I only believe that when I say it. Yes. It's really hard to imagine. He's always been so shy. When I gave him the talk about the birds and the bees, he wouldn't leave the house without a beekeeper's hat for weeks. <laughs> what was Bozo like as a child? There must be some embarrassing stories you could tell me. <laughs> Not really. He was a very good little boy. He never broke anything. And he took very good care of his Fifi Fairy Frills doll. And even when playing knights, he always insisted on being the princess. <laughs> Maybe we should talk about something else. Mm, why not? After all, it's not every day that I get to enjoy the company of such a fit young man. At least not now that the mailman is stuck in the window. <laughs> I thought that Porta Fisco was occupied by the Organon. So it was until recently. But under the command of the new general, the Resistance has recaptured the city. New general? Oh. <laughs> you haven't met the general, then. I didn't even know we had ranks. <laughs> Can I stay for dinner? But of course, Rufus. Bozo's friends are always welcome here, especially when they look so scrumptious. Just so we're on the same page, I'll sit at the table eating and not end up as a meat dish next to the salad, <laughs> right? When's dinner? You need to ask Grandpa. He promised to cook if Bozo ever brought home a friend. You weren't listening. I said I will cook if Bozo ever brings home a girlfriend. Why, that's ever gonna happen. <laughs> okay, uh, let's talk later. You make yourself at home. Meanwhile, I'll dig out some photos from Bozo's ballet lessons. <laughs> <laughs> There you are. Come on, bedtime's over. Rise and shine. Uh, hey, what's wrong with you? Go away. But we need to get to the rebel camp. You have to help me save the world. Bozo. <laughs> oh, man. What have we here? A doctor's referral to a therapist. Will you look at that? I've always known he's lost his marbles. So now we have written proof. My dearest honey bunch, I wish you were here with me. <laughs> what a cheesy opening. That's gonna cost him some points in my online review. Well, at least we're getting to some action next. Service at the front doesn't seem to be good for my health. To be more exact, I stepped on an Organon landmine, and in the next few seconds, I will... Ah! All my love, your Papa Bozo. P.S. Watch out for the mailman. I think he is secretly using our bath. At any rate, I found underwear with his name on it on top of the toilet tank. I would look absolutely fabulous in this outfit, as long as nobody important is looking. Fire! Fire! I'm on my way! Wee-oo, 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 wee-oo! Yeah! Hmm? 
David's fireman's uniform! Nonsense, woman! That isn't Baby Bozo. It's a wandering hobo already! Oh! You're right! Oh, I knew it was a mistake to cheat the optician at Bingo! Yeah, okay, one more time. Hey! -ya! Hmm? Oh! Look! Mook! Oh! Baby Bozo is playing with his cousin Alex's ninja outfit! Nonsense, woman! It's just that hobo again! You think so? <laughs> well then, he's not getting a caffeine lollipop! Is that really necessary? <sighs> All right. <laughs> hmm? Oh! Look! Mook! No, oh, there's Baby Bozo! Well, Baby Bozo, would you like another caffeine lollipop? You shouldn't give the baby caffeine lollipops, woman. He'll just take off again. All you ever do is complain, Mook. The child has to eat. How else will he get to be as big and strong as his brother? Oh, heavens above. I certainly hope the baby Bozo doesn't take after that whiny good for nothing. He should take a lesson from his cousins instead. At least they've done something with their lives. Don't listen to the nasty old man, sweetie. Here, you can have a candy lollipop from me. Wow. That was humiliating and enlightening at the same time. Kind of like my school days. I knew there was a reason I dropped out after the second grade. May I bother you for a moment? Huh? I'm not a hobo. See, Mook? I told you he's not a hobo! So, back then, you also said, it's not gangrene. We could have saved that leg, you know. Poor Timmy. Have you lived next to the bozos for a long time? Why? Isn't this one good enough for you? It may have suffered a little grenade damage here and there, but it's still our home. Calm yourself, Mook. He's asking about the bozos. Well, in that case, he's wrong here. They live next door. Do you know what's up with Bozo? Oh, so you're a friend of Bozo's? Nonsense, woman. Bozo would never be friends with some random hobo. That's because, unlike you, he has a handful of brain cells left, even if he doesn't act apart at the moment. He's depressed, Mook. Oh, of course he is. He's got no job, no girlfriend. The world is coming to an end. He does so have a girlfriend. Her name is Bambina, and she lives in the floating black market. If she contradicts him as often as you do to me, I can surely understand why he moved back in with his folks. Do you even get what I'm saying? Five, right? Nonsense, woman. It's at least seven. Ha ha ha! What do you know? You haven't got a clue what this is about. Then why don't you ask your good buddy, the hobo? He seems to have an answer for everything. Ah, rubbish! He's not even talking. That's because you won't let him get a word in edgewise. Look, he's trying to say something. Again. Ah, just forget it. This is too crazy, even for me. I'm leaving. You know, I think you were right, Mook. He was a hobo after all. That's what I said, woman. But you never listened to me. Well, 
Would you like a lollipop? Hey, who's throwing things at me? Hey, what was that anyway? Must be lying around here somewhere. Sweet. <laughs> I would be such a great father. I wonder if there are any limits to my good nature. Huh? Where did he suddenly disappear to? <laughs> hey, that's not funny. <laughs> Just FYI, this time I'm breaking it off on purpose. Well, of course, I mean, I, I'm going to adjust it just a little bit more. Oopsie. Bambina? Lottie? What are you doing here? And why are you dressed as men? First of all, these are our uniforms. We're now office <coughs> officers of the resistance! <laughs> officers. <laughs> Cute. Moreover, it's Private Lottie to you now and Sergeant Bambi. <laughs> Sergeant Bambi. <laughs> Do you hear that, Lottie? I think Roof. <laughs> I think Rufus is making fun of us, Sergeant! I think he's looking for a new set of teeth. Ladies, ladies, please stay calm. Don't get your panties in a knot. That causes chafing. <laughs> Where are the real rebels? What do you mean, real? Do you think this is a dream or something? Want me to poke you with a needle? I got one right here. I could stick it all the way in if I have to. No, no, I, I mean, I meant the true rebels. Janosch, Garleth, Leibold, the old gang, you know. Oh, them. Janosch is left on a mission, far as I know. Garleth and Leibold are in the camp, uh, right behind that gate. Huh. Well, they'll have to do for now, then. So you've joined the resistance now, too. <laughs> Do you mind? Of course not, Sergeant. <laughs> Bambi. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Well, it's funny because you're women. <laughs> Don't you get it? Oh, for pity's sake, I always knew you was an idiot. But a sexist idiot? What? No, no. It's got nothing to do with sexism. Some things just don't fit together. Women in the resistance. I mean, that's like, you know, putting a sombrero on a wombat. <laughs> <coughs> ho, ho, ho! Sombrero! You see, even Lottie finds it funny. And I don't think it's because she's prejudiced against toxicants, right? Never. Or wombats. Oh, I love wombats. They're so... Uh -huh. They're useful animals! Exactly. Just like women. I don't want to bother you uh, any longer. Oh, you can't be serious. All right, I don't have time to bother you any longer. That's more like it. Yoo-hoo! Open up! Yes? Leibold! What luck! Uh, let me in! Do I know you? Excuse me? It's me! Rufus! Come on, you must recognize your leader! You look like Rufus, but you can't be him. Rufus made it to the Upper Ascension Station with Yenna. Yeah, but I'm right here! That's your opinion! Uh, I don't have time for this nonsense. Who's in charge here? A new leader. Well, then let me in! I, I want to talk to him! No, I can't. How can I be sure you're not an organum spy? <laughs> that takes the cake. After all, I started this rebellion. Oh, and is there anyone who can attest to that? You mean besides you? Yes, precisely. Somebody else has to vouch for you? Oh, this is a bunch of bureaucratic nonsense. But all right, I'll be right back. And you can get ready to do a few push-ups.
Hello, you two lovely ladies. You again? What do you want? I need someone who can identify me. You are Rufus. Yeah, I know that, but Liebold appears to have forgotten. So will you come to the gate with me, so he'll finally let me into the camp? Maybe later. We're on an important mission right now. Oh yeah? You're painting each other's nails? Nah. We're giving each other tattoos of our squad insignia. Unfortunately, we're still missing a suitable design! <laughs> what about a little pony? Or a adorable kitten paw prints? Are you trying to tell us we're not tough enough? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I suggested that because I'm, I'm a macho male. Uh, not because I, I love adorable <coughs> kitten paw prints. If you want to test the toughness of my fists, just let me know. Can't you take a short break to identify me at the gate? Not until we find the right design for the squad insignia. Our squad leader says it will boost our team spirit! Spirit? I thought you were on duty. Team spirit, Rufus! Don't you even know what... Ah, just forget it. Hi there. Hello. W was that all? Just hello? What would you like to hear, huh? Welcome to Burrito Rap Paradise? So you think my sign isn't flashy enough? Nah, not really. Any special offers today? I got these burrito wraps for 1.25 zlotties each. If that's not special enough for you, go someplace else where they have flashing signs that say special offer. You can count on it that their burrito wraps cost a lot more. Flashing signs don't come for free, you know. Four burritos, please. Sorry, my assistant resigned. You had an assistant? Yeah. No idea how he managed to open his shackles. Well, why don't you just make the, the burritos yourself? I've had surgery. The doctor says I shouldn't move too much. That's my big heart. Why? Did you donate a kidney? No, didn't you listen? I said, my heart is too big. Ah, oh, come on. Make me a few burritos, will ya? No, without an assistant. Have you seen a, a, a baby pass through here? I know nothing about missing babies. Nothing. And no one can prove otherwise. Come on. It should have passed here just, just a minute ago. Oh? In that case, I really don't know. You're looking for an assistant? Oh, so you can read. Bravo. I'm looking for a handsome man to work under me. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> too bad I'm busy. I said handsome, didn't I? Uh, nothing from me right now. A hey, good choice. We got plenty of that. Are you merely saying that I find it inappropriate for you to be selling rope directly next to my practice? I don't know what you're talking about. I stock nothing but high-quality products. And with all due respect, your clientele seems to feel the same way. Since the Organon destroyed the facade between our businesses, my sales have tripled. I've never had a customer come back with a complaint. That... Uh, no, forget it. I just did. A whole cabinet full of prescription psychotropic drugs. Well, if I can't get Bozo back to his old self with that, then <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Hmm. Barry! There's somebody at the door! I heard it! Chase him off! 
I need quiet for the cover story. You know, about that idiot who almost got us all killed. <sighs> yeah, I know. Psst. Rufus, come in. But please be very quiet, okay? Hey, Barry. Why so sad? Oh, Rufus, it's terrible. Everyone says you aren't a hero. You're an idiot. They say you brought down the end of the world upon us. Ah, they're just jealous. I'm totally swell, and you know it. I don't know what to think anymore. I haven't been able to get a single shot of your heroic deeds. Well, you just aren't as good a photographer as I am. If only I had just one photo as proof of your selflessness. Yeah, that would be great for me. You know what? I'll make you a deal. I'll find the subject for another heroic deed, and you'll get your photo. Agreed? Oh, that would be so great. I'll be right back. There's only one single letter in the typecase. A capital Y. Isn't this needed? No. Whatever for. There are hardly any words that contain it. And we already reported on the Seder Knuckles in our winter special, Mythological Physical Extremities. Oh, yeah. I think Tony had that issue. Whatever for. The cover story was about centaurs. Oh, yeah, of course. I remember. Hands off! The antidepressants are for patients who are not beyond hope. I have a doctor's referral. And may I see it? Everything seems to be in order. Please lie down on the couch. Well, you sure don't waste any time. You could at least put on some romantic music. Just lie down, okay? All right, all right. All right, first, I would like you to tell me why you're here. So, I've got this friend. A friend. Uh-huh. I see. What's wrong with him? I don't know. He just lies around all day, doing nothing. And, according to you, what should he be doing? Well, something useful for a change, like saving the world, etc. Saving the world? Don't you think that's asking a bit much of a single person? Of course, it's practically impossible. But that didn't stop us before. We had many narrow escapes. But now, of all times, so close to victory, boom, count me out, nothing doing. Well, I can understand your friend pretty well. He's under enormous pressure and probably scared. Yes, naturally. That sounds like him. Black beard on the outside, yellow liver on the inside. And quite rightfully so, don't you think? Save the world. That's a huge responsibility. He can't split himself in three after all. Exactly. Unlike me. <laughs> As you say, he... Uh, say what? Yeah, I was feeling pretty down myself when there was only one of me. Whoa! <laughs> Let's take this slowly. Actually, that was mainly because of this stressful resurrection business. And, of course, the fact that I had killed my girlfriend. Uh, I see. One thing at a time. Why uh, don't you just tell me a little bit about uh, yourself? I often have the feeling that I don't belong. Belong to what? You know, everything. Deponia. So you wish you were better integrated? Jeepers, no. I just want to leave this place. Elysium is where I belong. Unfortunately, getting there is harder than I thought. At least as long as I'm trying to prevent this planet from being blown apart. Ah, uh, I see. I'm afraid of transforming into someone I don't want to be. I last saw him yesterday, when I brushed my teeth. In the mirror? 
Right. And what's so terrible about him? Ah, uh, you know, Gold's ex fiance is an Elysian, a real sleaze bag. And you feel compelled to take over his role? Yeah, that's the plan, yes. And naturally, that makes you feel uncomfortable. I hate this role. You are tired of having to pretend. Yes, exactly. Wow, <laughs> I'm impressed. Your use of complex metaphors to describe your inner turmoil is truly remarkable. Yeah, I, what complex? But, but this isn't about metaphors. I'm talking about my evil doppelganger. Uh, I see. I'm racked with guilt. Does that have anything to do with the factor that you, uh, killed your girlfriend? Isn't that what you told me earlier? Nah, it's fine. I revived her. I'm more worried about her going down the drain. She's only a baby. Uh, I see. I'm plagued by fears of failure. There's so much left to do, and so little time. Even splitting myself in three doesn't seem enough. But you still seem pretty relaxed to me. Oh, you thought I was talking about myself. <laughs> no way. I'm super cool. I was referring to the other two me's. I'm afraid this is getting a little too cryptic for me. You appear to be under a lot of pressure, but sometimes the best solution is to simply give up. Would that really be the end of the world? Yes. Are you even listening to me? I was dead. You mean you had a near-death experience? Doesn't get any nearer. What was it like? Mm, like a nightmare at first. Then I remember a light and eventually I met my maker. Really? Yes, his name is Hermes. Cool guy, actually. Too bad he had to kill himself over me. Ah, uh, I see. I could tell you about my childhood. I'd like that, yes. My foster father was the mayor in our village. At first he took me along to the city hall, but at some point I wasn't allowed back in because I accidentally declared war on the Shrapnel Coast. After that, I was mostly locked up by myself at home. You didn't have a key? No, I was still very young. But then, by the time I turned four, I learned how to open those handcuffs using the underwire from Grandpa's bra. Ah, uh, I see. Let's change the subject, shall we? Do you feel embarrassed when you disclose all these things about yourself? No. Why? Quite the opposite. Well, you should. But th this is not really about me. It's about my friend. Are you quite sure about that? Couldn't it be that this is primarily about you after all? That's nothing to be ashamed of, you know. Wow, you're good. Everyone else always asks like there's something wrong with that. <laughs> I'm not here just to chat with you, actually. You're expecting results. That's quite normal. If you have a hard time talking about your problems, we can begin with something else. Hmm, how about a Rorschach test? What? You're gonna lock me up in a shack? With a lion? <sighs> it's an association game with cards. Oh, a card game? <laughs> Fine with me. But don't get your hopes up. I always win at cards because I'm the coolest guy there is. Much more so than my father, you know, for example. Uh, if you say so, let's get started then. Penis! <laughs> no, I mean, I'm ready. So, what do you see in this picture? Elysium, majestically enthroned high above Deponia. And that does not... Worry you? You know the rumors about the Elysians giving me order to blow up Deponia, right? <laughs> Do I know them? <laughs> I started them. Ah, uh, I see. Perhaps we should proceed with the next picture. What do you see here? Ah, a lovely glitter elf. You what? <laughs> a glitter elf, you know, like in a fairy tale. Ah, uh, I see. Was that wrong? In that case, I would like to use my lifeline. This is not about being right or wrong. It's just that most people see something different in this picture. <laughs> most people are idiots. They wouldn't know a glitter elf if it crawled up their butt. <laughs> 
Uh, I see. Interesting. Let's look at the next picture. What do you see here? That's me saving the world. Please be serious, will you? Hey, what do you mean? You're the one with the funny glasses. Right, that's it. If you prefer goofing off instead of giving me some serious answers, then you've come to the wrong person. But I only told you what I saw. In that case, you should definitely leave. There is no therapy here for people like you. Maybe you should consult an exorcist instead. And please stay away from me. Far away. Wow, look at that. I landed right at the foot of the Upper Ascension Station, the site of the Organon Headquarters, and the birth of the last high boat to Elysium. I need to be careful from now on. Well, more careful than usual. This place is crawling with Organons. They're obviously withdrawing from the city. I wonder what they're planning. Maybe I can eavesdrop. Move, hurry us up. There are still some crates that are bound for Elysium. No, not that one. It's supposed to go to the third intermediate level. Huh? What's that? And to conclude today's show, I have a very special treat for you. You all know him, you all love him, and here he is now with his current smash hit, Cowboy Dodo, with Look At Me! A solar-powered, illuminated sign. You don't know what you want, where you stand, there's no plan except the one with the big old label goals for the future. Come on, you choose, but you will never do so you're seeking echoes, you did that's okay, man, for it suits you. Style of life, you're sufficient like a cop, I went for solar, never pull the thing off sofa, but if you did it beyond your own account, you never ask if I should skip every tutorial. You have your own, you never oh, cited any editorial. Like well, not so far, amigo, but so far, you'll be ego. The only thing that's bugging me is every time that we go. Hey, what's up, bro? You go, why is every moron struck by luck? Why am I stuck in the muck while every jerk is what the look if you never ask for help and suit yourself with LRV? You wanna know? Know how it's been done, just look at me! Does it hurt to face the fact? Have your optics track it check? Die and act a remedy, just look at me! Did you die after quadruple? Need your loopholes for your pupil? Is it still too hot to see? Well, look at me! They call me Cowboy Dodo! Cowboy Dodo! <laughs> what do you know? Cowboy the Dodo. Organon is a Cowboy, cowboy Dodo, Dodo fan! Dodo. Now that he's distracted, I just have to find an open crate. Preferably one that will be taken to Elysium, and then it's goodbye to Podia. <laughs> Pity the gold is here. I shouldn't have left her fate in the hands of that stupid other users. Same old story. If you want something done right, do it yourself. I bet those other two are doing as well as me. Darn, it's a cure with a combination of luck. This is, uh, what? A pacifier? At least, it feels like a pacifier. Somewhat drooly and, uh, well, pacifier shaped. Here we go. There, that should shut her up for now. Here we go. I got it. We go. <laughs> ha, got it. There, 
The kindling is stuck in the crevice. And now? Hey, sure, I can light a fire this way. Ha <laughs> ha, success! Is there anything I can't set on fire? Say something, Goal. <laughs> Goal. Uh oh. <laughs> Very funny. Just so you know, that was all part of the plan. And anyway, we have more important things to do now. We have to find that what's it acid and, and turn you back into a real person. Oh, yeah. Now one more thing, before I shine a light into the darkness there, always keep yourself between me and the man-eating monsters. We don't want anything to happen to me, after all. <laughs> I can't believe how stupid those Organons are. <laughs> and now, after the unparalleled success of Look At Me, we are pleased to be able to present you with the first exclusive preview of his new single. Here for your listening pleasure comes Cowboy Dodo. And look around. Oh no, not the B-side too. Wow. You just can't get your eyes up me, can you? It's the very Yuki Dairy show is over, I'm a venue. Don't you ever have to blink? What are you, some kind of guppy? Why don't you just watch a bunny on my video with a puppy? Look, done once if you get it, now we've done enough already. I'll just stroll off somewhere else, and you stay here nice and steady, right? Oh, well, it's you no know better. What's the matter? I'm a bolding, is a bogey? I might not say what the thing you are beholding. Now you stare at me as if there was just rubbish on the telly, and I can't even blame you for I also have a belly full of living here, where all you see is half with full of litter. I hope I eat the pony here, I know it may sound bitter, but somewhere up Elysium is bound to be found. You just Facing the wrong way, so turn around. Didn't we agree? Nothing here for you to see. Now good lost, never be found. Just look around. Got a stiff neck, maybe whip my swearing blinkers. Got your hip flash out, your deaf or grave. Got my look around. Listen to the cowboy dodo, cowboy dodo. Dibbly da bop, look around. Look around. Listen to the cowboy dodo. actually got a point. People really should look around a lot more in their lives. Otherwise, they miss out. Intruders! Alarm! Oh, crap. <laughs> it's worse than I feared. Are you my daddy? Uh, I hope not. And, and if I am, then you must take after your mother. I'm Rufus. Please excuse my sister's lack of restraint. She's just glad that we finally found a grown-up. I'm Rusty, that's Gretchen, and our little brother is called Hansel. The soda straw is called Hansel? <laughs> Your parents are real sadists, I guess. Well, put it this way, they abandoned us down here in the sewers. We've been stumbling around in the dark by ourselves for quite a while. Could you maybe help us? Of course I could, but I don't want to. Beat it! That isn't the proper reaction. As a grown-up, you have a responsibility to help poor children in need. I've already got one ankle biter around my neck. Help yourselves. Shoo! Hey, didn't I tell you not to come toddling after me? I am on a dangerous adventure. But we need your help. Yeah, and I told you, this is not for children. You could wind up in a plasma skirmish. Or be eaten right here on the spot by that witch. She looks very hungry. Well, I never. I won't stand for such insinuations. I do not eat children. Oh yeah? Then what are you doing here? I collect old bottles and sell them to the sewers inn. There's a pub down here? Excellent! I could really... 
wait a second. You wouldn't happen to have found a container with a green liquid in it. Yes. And I got the five zlotties for it. Fantastic. You see, Goal, I told you I'd rescue you. Very <laughs> Where's the exit? From the sewers, there isn't one. <laughs> Those who wind up down here are damned to remain here forever. Forever! Forever! Yeah! <laughs> you know, you're laying it on kind of thick for someone who isn't a witch. Sorry, ever since I stopped taking the pill, I've had these strange mood swings. So you have five Zlotties? Yes, all five. Huh? There isn't a lot of money here in the sewers. To be more precise, there are exactly five Zlotties. And at the moment, they belong to me. Hmm. Sounds like a very manageable, stable currency system. It was, until hedge funds and speculation in the financial markets led to massive deficits in current accounts. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. I, I, I see. Will you lend me your five Zlotties? No. I want to keep them. Oh, come on. Don't be that way. I mean, what good is all the wealth if you don't share it with your friends? Very simple. I love it when people make monkeys of themselves for me. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I'm making a monkey of myself so that you'll give me the five Zlotties. Sounded more like a rusty water pipe to me. Does that mean I humiliated myself for absolutely nothing? No, don't worry. Before you can humiliate yourself, you first have to attain a certain standard. You wouldn't happen to be interested in some tasty little kids. Oh, and what a coincidence. They cost exactly five Zlotties. But, Mr. Rufus, you can't just sell us to a stranger. Hush now. Grown-ups are talking. Don't worry, boy. I have no intention of letting some random idiot palm a bunch of children off on me. I don't want to end up like my mother. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Tasty little children. I already told you, I'm not interested in your brats. If I wanted to, I could have a whole grain silo full of the things. But I decided to pursue a career instead. I've got to go. But why? We were just having fun. And uh, uh, wait a moment. Did the water here just get warmer? Like I said, I've got to go. Ciao. What is it now? Mr. Rufus, we can't get up there. Who says you're supposed to come up here? We need to stay with you. It's just too dangerous here for children like us. Nonsense. Danger is like ghosts. There's no such thing. Certainly not here. This area is teeming with nice people. So scram. Go, go and play. You old war horse. What are you doing here? Oh, no, not you. Is he a friend of yours? Far from it. Goon, why are you being so rude to the poor guy? Unfortunately, he has a good reason. We used to be best friends. No, we were not. Yes, we were. We even had a hip hop project going. Oh, no, we didn't. But then I, I just left him in the lurch. I still feel terribly guilty. 
What on Deponia are you talking about? I thanked my lucky stars the moment you were gone. Yeah, I know. I know. You're bitter. So, it's a good thing that we meet again. I have so much to make up to you. I don't get this at all. Oh, I almost forgot my manners. You haven't introduced me to your lovely companion. Do I have to? Goon? <sighs> all right. June, this is Rufus. Rufus, this is June, my girlfriend. Pleased to meet you, Rufus. Don't be so hasty. Oh, yeah. The good old days, huh? Our long conversations about social disparities, a warm campfire, freestyling on the key wall. <laughs> oh, that was just a couple of days ago. Yeah, time really flies. You broke my umbrella and forced me to eat a boot. Sounds like you had fun. Fun? June, he's completely crazy. We were both crazy back in the day. Did Goon ever tell you about his legendary pranks? Oh, one time. <laughs> he dressed up as a bum to annoy the poor people in the slums. <laughs> uh, it wasn't like that. He even smeared poop on himself so that he would stink as much as they did. <laughs> June, don't believe a word he says. No, let him finish talking. This is the first time I've met one of your old friends. But he is not an old friend. He's more like a mad being from a bizarre parallel universe. Yeah, life was crazy for us all back then. So, the two of you are really together? With all the trimmings? Ding dong, know what I mean? <laughs> yes, we're together. It's just perfect. And what about you and that goal? Oh, this is also, uh, super. <clears throat> also ding-dong. Oh, yeah. Does she still have those problems? I, do, I don't know what you're uh, talking about. Well, she would suddenly go oddly childish. Oh, <laughs> that. Well, let's, let's just say our relationship has, has gotten off to a real new uh, start. You live in the sewers? That's terrible. We're fine. We're happy. Oh, no, no, no. We can't have that. You're such good people, you deserve something better than a life in the gutter. A beautiful townhouse. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look, a villa. The finest house for the finest couple in Porta Fisco. Oh, how sweet of you. And you know what? I am going to help you. No, Rufus, really don't help. Anything but that. Goon, what is wrong with you? You know, I owe you an apology, Goon. I treated you pretty badly last time. Oh, that's so sweet. I wish I could do something to repay you. You could just disappear and leave us in peace. Goon, what has gotten into you? It's all right, June. I can understand if your friend feels resentment towards me. I treated him very badly in the past. It's no wonder he doesn't want to accept my apology. I'll simply have to live with a guilty conscience. For the rest of my day. Uh, you'll survive, I'm afraid. Goon, he apologized. Now say something. <sighs> All right. Rufus, I'm not mad at you. But whatever you did to me, ultimately it led to me meeting June, and I'm really grateful for that. Oh, if only it were that simple. But I sense that I have to do something for you to really make amends. What? No, 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 don't do anything. It's fine. Do you hear? Something really, really big. Oh, heavens. I insist on doing you a favor. No, Rufus, that really isn't necessary. We're happy the way we are. <laughs> yeah, sure. Happy in the gutter. <laughs> you jokers. <laughs> Seriously. I have already got a couple of ideas about how I can radically improve your lives. Radical? Oh, help! What are you planning? <laughs> I'm not telling. Let it be a surprise. Oh, isn't that exciting, Goon? Goon, are you trembling? Oh, please. <laughs> be seeing ya! Please, at least give us time to find hard hats. Goon.
Yoo-hoo! Huh? Rufus? Is that you? No, it's your reflection in a puddle in the gutter. Of course it's me. Wait a minute. You ended up in the sewers? <laughs> You're in it up to your neck. Yeah, well, at least I'm doing something useful. Scuba diving in the toilet? I found gold, and I know where the nucleic acid is. And what did you achieve? I kept my coat clean. And have you alarmed the rebels in your clean coat? Not yet. But I met Bozo. Unfortunately, he's... No help at all. You call that news? <laughs> no, not really. Anyway, it's good to know we can meet up here and share things through this grate. Yes, that may come in useful. I could hand some objects down to you. Wouldn't it be just the coolest thing if there was a new interface element for that? Hey, that's awesome. Let's hope it works the other way around as well. Great! I'll go see what I can come up with then. Uh, maybe I can find you some toilet paper. Yeah, if there's a choice, can you get me the three-ply stuff? And therefore, dear children, you will certainly not regret getting into my dark van. What's going on here? This shady character is trying to lure us into his van under very suspicious circumstances. Uh-huh. So what are you waiting for? You cannot be serious. Children must never enter strange people's vans. That's a very important rule. Nah, nah. Rules are for people who are too clumsy to cheat. I'm sure this friendly gentleman only has your best interests in mind. Right? Um, yes. Of course. He claims that he's got a petting zoo with cute animals in there. A petting zoo? <gasps> really? What? Um, well, <laughs> actually... Ooh, me first. A out of my way. Ooh, ooh. Pretty dark in here for a petting zoo. And where are the cute animals? Um, well, here, right in front of you. Oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> I'm so excited. Whoa! What? What are you doing? No! You're... You're killing that poor animal. <laughs> Nothing of the sort. Yes, you are. You're choking it. No, no, don't worry. I'm really good with animals. Stop it! Immediately! Get out of here! No! There's no reason to get so upset. I was just finished anyway. And? What and? It was totally cool. The animals were mega cute, and I got to pet them. I think you're fibbing. Ha, ah, you're just envious. Next time, I'll make a print. Then you'll weep with envy. <laughs> I'm so envious, I want to die. <laughs> and then I'll laugh. Oi, mate. What do you think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to the pub. We've brats in tow. Were you dropped on your head or what? They aren't mine. Yeah, that's what my old man always said. And then he tied me and Macy up outside the pub. And did it harm you? Well, I don't know about Macy. Her leash broke. Uh, oh. You're nuts, Ralphie. Why? Just because I decided to become a vegetarian? That's exactly why. After all, you're a slime monster. And slime monsters eat children. I can change, you know? <laughs> You'll never stick with it. Like that business with your correspondence course. Yeah, you'll see. Well then, enjoy your dinner. As for me. I'm going to toss a couple of kitty arms and the barbecue. Do that. I'm going to take a nap. Yeah, try not to leave your mouth open so wide this time. Otherwise, 
a couple of kids will wind up floating down your throat. Ha ha ha! Hey, yeah, screw you too. <laughs> What do you say now? This is definitely an ideal spot for a good night's sleep. Are you sure? Of course. It's out of the wind, it has a roof, and there are places to sit. What else could one ask for? Well, it has a certain menace, shall we say? It's scared. You said it, Gretchen. Are there any guarantees that there are no dangerous monsters lurking in the dark? Monsters? <laughs> You're such a bunch of idiots. There's no such thing as monsters. Except, of course, for that giant insect that almost killed me a little while ago. God, you should have seen its teeth and those long legs. Disgusting. Ugh. Still creeps me out when I think about it. But that was over there, somewhere on the other side of those dark, far-apart pipes. <laughs> Where was I? You were trying to explain to us why this is a good place to spend the night. Oh, yeah, spend the night. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's perfect, isn't it? But it's dark and cold. Whoa, whoa there. Complain, complain, complain. <laughs> and even without breaking it off. <laughs> this is definitely a first. stuck. Oh, no wonder. The way these things are built, they only fly from their sockets during an electrical spike. blow the fuse. Only the current went away. It seems to be rusted in place. If only I could reach that lever up there at the same time. Then the fuse would probably come free. Another rebel. Another one. And, but that's the same one again. He must have escaped somehow. Huh? But I've never been here before. Very funny. Move. Lock him up in his cell again. Wait, you're one of my clones, right? Cleverly disguised as Cletus. Oh, please. Don't tell me there's more than one of you now. <laughs> Very good. You've got your role as a sleazy dimwit down pat. Ugh. Yes. What you say? So, if you are me, how were they able to capture you? Same as you, I suppose. <laughs> the way they captured me was much cooler. And I've already got a plan how we can get out of here. You can spare yourself the effort. I've tried everything. Yeah, maybe. But I have a bunch of new tricks up my sleeve that you don't even know. Oh, even though we're the same person? Yeah. Watch and learn.
Hey, hello? Yoo-hoo! What do you want? Stop making such a racket in there! I'm hungry. That's probably because you never touched your breakfast. Hang on, I'll open the food slot. Uh, I need the bathroom. Again? Fine. But this time, don't use so much toilet paper. We've already cleared the store. Do you mean that if someone were to prevent the destruction of the planet, the Organon would be out of toilet paper? That would be correct, yes. <laughs> Fantastic. How's that for an incentive to save Deponia? I demand a clean cell. This is a clean cell, and I'm very proud to say so. We have all the latest cleaning technologies. The blankets are lint free, and the toilet fresheners are dirt repellent. And I shampooed the rug earlier today. Wow. Life in the service of the Organon gets pretty boring, huh? Oh, you have no idea. Ah, uh, nothing. Then don't bother me. Okay, let's have a look. Coffee, a bagel, and pepper. What? No jam. That's a violation of the Geneva Convention. And what have we here? A toilet freshener! Wasn't very smart of the Organon to provide me with this essential gem of chemical warfare. It's a lousy substitute for cream cheese, but it'll have to do. <laughs> Inspired recipe. Bot, you old dirtbag, you! Nice to see you again! Hey, is that a way to greet an old buddy? Really? What is that supposed to be? <laughs> One guess. It's our ticket to freedom. You will eat this slightly adulterated bagel and then pretend to be sick, which should come naturally. And when they take you to sick bay, I will come forth from my hiding place and save us over my dead body. You will eat the bagel and I will save us. Yeah, actually, why not? I'm kind of hungry anyway. No, wait, was that a trick? Just so you could have my food, you rotter. I'm on to you. Give me that bagel. Mmm. <laughs> I'm feeling a little... I think I'm going to... <laughs> what have you done? You idiot. You poisoned me. <laughs> Bravo. Very convincing. Didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> but uh, you better save your method acting for the guard, especially your complexion. It's, it's really good. Yoo-hoo, I feel sick. Is that supposed to be me? Who else? Why are you disguising your voice? Oh, trust me. I'm an excellent voice impersonator. What? But, oh, shush. What is it now? If you keep bothering me, I will... What the? You tow rag! What have you done to my nice rug? Off with you to sick bay, right now! Damn! Now I have to air out the cell! <laughs> that was easier than I thought. Too bad there wasn't a big chase sequence on jet skis, though.
<laughs> application terminal serial 17. Only approved for filling in application forms with the serial number 27 ERC. Application form 27 year. Application for A. Medical assistance in case of job related injuries induced by terminal maintenance work, reference number Yerk 75. B. A screwdriver, sharp edged, to be used in terminal maintenance work, reference number Hola 55. And C. A replacement lead type Yerk for defective application terminals, reference number Yerk 122. I guess the door only opens for the Organon. This is still not fast enough, Oppenboss. Ulysses must not get suspicious. I want to be there when he learns that the army he was going to blow up with this filthy planet is on board. And will take over Elysium under my command. But Ulysses isn't stupid, Meredith. He's stupid enough to think that 11,000 Organons will just volunteer to die submissively. Yes, that is stupid. So, when am I getting my copy of the Ascension Codes? Don't be silly, Oppenbot. You will stay here, of course. Ah, yes, of course. 11,000 Organons. So that's what Argus was talking about. Huh, I never believed for a moment that he wanted to save Deponia. And now, he's got the Ascension Codes. I've got to hurry. He's already bringing his troops aboard. Another problem that I need to take care of later. Am I intruding? Rufus, I'm overjoyed to see you. You have come just in time. And who have we here? Another fellow fighter in our battle against oppression? This is Rufus. I told you about him. Wow, really? The Rufus? Now, if that isn't a good omen for our enterprise, I'm Cowboy Dodo. You may know me from the local radio. And here we have Cindy, Hottie, and Cutis. <laughs> he remembers our names. Shh. I don't want to miss a word. Okay, listen up, everyone. I'm the head honcho around here, right? So, what do you want me to do? What's the big plan? We are directly above Bailiff Argus' office. We believe that the Ascension Codes are hidden there. Therefore, we wanted to lower Cowboy Dodo on a rope so he could get his hands on them. I understand, with the usual power. But I'm here now, so move aside and make room for me. <laughs> I like this guy. Why don't we just take a vote? I'm for Rufus. <laughs> I'm for me too. <sighs> I just don't know. No, let Cowboy Dodo do it. He's the best man for the job. He's the best man, period. And Yanosh votes for me, of course. Well, it's a draw then. But before we get into a fight over this, remember that manning the crank is also an important job. The crank? I'm not your crank ape. Forget it. I demand a new count. Someone is still missing, you know. I'll be right back. The others. If by ushers you mean Leibold and Gylef, they are supporting the troops that confront the Organon in town. That sounds like a veritable civil war. That's what it was. When we set out, the situation was already escalating crazy. They've accomplished much injured as well as exorbitant collateral damage. <laughs> Were there any, uh, you know, casualties? Yes. 
thousands of casualties. <laughs> Wait, that isn't as funny as I thought. What is that twerp doing here? Twerp? Who are you calling a twerp? Cowboy Dodo is certainly not a twerp. He's a well-known pop star in these parts. They should be glad that he's supporting our troop. May I borrow your screwdriver? Of course. Just don't break it, please. Hey, when did I ever break anything that belonged to you? Shush the other day you converted my deep furred fryer into some shit of cat litter books. Because of that, she thinks you were trying to tame a nurse back to have. So, how am I to deep fry my Grinch jelly sandwiches? Uh, sorry, I, I, I don't understand a word. A little later, you broke my only banana picker and my bunk bed and my potato peeler. Yeah, okay, just, just, uh, you know, I can't make out a word you're saying. I, it's your speech impediment, I know. See you later. Please be careful. Now that's interesting. The Organon's pneumatic tube system seems to run through here. Maybe I can open this with the screwdriver. This is so hard to bend. I hope it won't be long before they send something. Ouch. Oh, great. So much for the screwdriver. Well, at least I got a capsule out of it. Let's see what the Organon has written. Attention all ranks. Be careful around the open ends of the pneumatic tubes. <laughs> Those idiots. What's that all about, huh? Are you serious about taking me on? In case you still don't get it, this is my show. Cowboy Dodo saves the world. Yeah, right, and they're giving away nail clippers and pollutia. I founded the Resistance. I uncovered the plans of the Organon, and I will be the one who saves the world. <laughs> I knew it. This is all about your ego, isn't it? Yeah, my ego is determined to save the world. Oh, yeah? Then why do you refuse to turn the crank? Because... Uh, uh, um, uh, You'd better make up your mind, buddy. Do you want the world to be saved? Then come on back in and let me save the world. But if you're only doing this to look like a hero, then we got a problem. I have a certain image to uphold, you know? And I'm not about to let some local hick peel the crust off my swill. We'll see about that. Is that supposed to be a threat? <laughs> Just look at you, you scrawny wimp. I could take on two of you hands down. Is that so? In that case, we should try it out. Wait here. Don't go away. So good. Now, what am I going to apply for? Hey, what? The yurk isn't working. Of course. Hola, 55. There. Oh, this is so exciting. Whoa, that went fast. <laughs> yes, that's actually the screwdriver I ordered for myself. Hmm. Based on the description in the application form, I had assumed it would be a little bigger. That's the last time I order anything from those frauds.
Mayo Assistant Wanted. Ah, I see you are interested in our flyer. <laughs> Very much so. Excellent. You'll find all the important information on our products in there. There's even a small preview of the upcoming winter fashions on the back. If you are subject to winter depression, you should act now. Many models are out of stock during the holidays. Um, what are you doing? I'm making a paper airplane. What else? But my beautiful flyer! Well, we'll see if it's a beautiful flyer in the test flight. Of course. If you make the nose of a paper airplane heavier with a weight, it'll fly farther. I knew my long career as a parking offender would eventually pay off. <laughs> ook, ook yourself. Hello again, unfair lady. Ah, the young father is back. There actually is a dancing monkey. You mean the organ grinder's monkey? I've seen it. It's a miserable monkey. It can't even dance. I'll keep my money. Knock, knock. What do you want now? I want to visit your petting zoo again. <laughs> no, thanks. I... Hey! What do you think you're doing? Ah, oh, don't sweat the small stuff. I just want another peek at your animals. But, but, but stay cool, man. I'll only be a minute. Whoa! What? What are you doing? No, no, don't worry. I'm really good with animals. Stop it! Immediately! Get out of here! No! There's no reason to get so upset. I was just finished anyway. And? Do you have proof now? <laughs> Certainly! Oh yeah? And what is that supposed to be? It's a dainty little bird. That's supposed to be a bird? Of course. Look closer. Here are the wings, and here's the, um, uh, you know, whatever they are. At any rate, it's a birdie. Found the right design for your unit. Here. Hey, that's not bad. That looks sort of fierce. <laughs> you can say that again. A fierce bird, you cupcakes. Whatever it is, you found the right design for our squad insignia. Now we can get started. Are you sure you can watch? Getting a tattoo isn't for sensitive souls. Sensitive souls? The very nerve. As you wish. Sensitive souls. Phew. I don't believe it. I've jammed hot needles in parts of my body that... What do you know? It was so boring I just fell asleep. No access for civilians. I'm not a civilian. I'm part of the resistance. Which, by the way, is also why you were going to accompany me to the gate. Well, tough luck. I have new orders. I'm supposed to guard the radio and bring in any messages from the front. Well, I've got a message here. From the frontmost front. I have to get into the rebel camp. And Fronto, at Pronto. Then talk to the Major. She sets the priorities here. Yeah, you bet I'm going to. Wait a second, that's no Major. That's just... 
pony. You know, Major T? Th th that's my ex-girlfriend. I see she's moving up in the world. Not just professionally. Yeah, 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 goat. Surprise! Rufus, good to see you. Yeah, yeah, and your mother smells of... What? It's what to see me? Good. Yeah. I was afraid something had happened to you. Hey, something's different. You got a new hairstyle. Close. A new therapist. I need to talk to this new general. Can you take me through the gate? I could, but I won't. I need to finish my meditation first. Excuse me, does that mean you're just gonna sit here? The Organon might be initiating the detonation of our planet at this very moment. While the last high boat is still anchored at Ascension Customs? Unlikely. Unlikely, unlikely. Will you still be saying that when everything around here suddenly turns into a, a, a flaming fiasco? Oh, uh, now that was highly unlikely. You mean like back when you tried to turn lead into brass instruments? That was a completely different matter. Anyway. It would have worked if only I hit the high F sharp. Oh, Rufus, just relax. We've got everything under control here. The general has a plan. So the general has a plan? What kind of plan could that possibly be if it doesn't involve me? That's a secret. But I'm the leader! You used to be the leader. We have a new general now. New general, new schmeneral, mo, mo, mo. You don't even have a war anymore. I mean, where's all the action? The explosions, the dismembered people, the burning huts. As I said, we have a new general now. And what, what's the deal with that secret plan? That's a secret. Yeah, you don't expect me to, to simply swallow that. Why not? You swallowed an entire liter of paint thinner, and everybody knows that stuff causes immediate brain damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was cool. Things seem to be different with the resistance these days. Thank you. That wasn't a compliment. Everything here is so... Organized? Boring. Lame. Dreary. I guess that's because we drove the Organon out of Puerto Fisco. We have new equipment and new command structures. Excuse me, I can barely hear you. Your mechanical beard is making too much noise. So, you found yourself a new therapist? Yes. And he is really good. For one thing, I no longer have this recurring nightmare where I'm being chased by a GNU, where the walls are dissolving around me until the whole house collapses on top of me. Yeah, that was quite a memorable day. And you must admit that the gate really stopped squeaking after that. How can you just sit here totally unperturbed? The world is coming to an end! Does that mean you ran out of your famous plans? Oh, of course I have a plan. But for that, I need, you know... Help? A minimum of support. Remember, it's me who's saving everyone's fat, lazy behinds around here. In that case, let me thank you. But there's no need for you to save us. We've got a plan of our own now. If you want to help us, just sit somewhere and don't touch anything that flashes. Or is in any way combustible. Or yellow. Oh, you know what? Don't touch anything at all. I know exactly how I can draw out the old Tony. Spare yourself the effort. <laughs> you should know me better than that. When have I ever made an effort? Do you remember how I secretly took photos of your mother in the bathroom? Yeah, but I never understood why. Because I never told you that I sold the pictures to old ogling Aussie. Of course, I had to throw in some, um, you know, underpants, or I couldn't have afforded the sticker album. You are such a prankster! Always good for a surprise! <laughs> I have risen from the dead! Ooh. Congratulations. 
doesn't that scare you at all? Rufus, there was so many times when you blew yourself up, set yourself on fire, slawed into your leg, or got trampled by stampeding buffalo. You really have to come up with some new tricks if you want to impress me. Aww. There's three of me now. All right, now that is impressive, but also totally absurd. But it's true, I cloned myself. I think we would have noticed by now, from the reign of ash or some such thing. There's three of me, honestly. Ooh, boring. It's not over yet. What isn't over yet? Uh, no, well, it's over. But I'll be back. No rush. Where did they get all this stuff in such a short time? They even have the new, uh, model, uh, 67.5, uh, 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 no, wait, that, that isn't the model number. That's a label with the radio frequency they use. Hey, Lottie, can you come to the gate now to identify me? No, I can't right now. I have to wait until the swelling on my tattoo goes down. Uh, yes, but... I said... No! Can I take this deck chair? Sure. I mean, sure. Do you need to get dearly the instructions? Never. A Marine doesn't need instructions. Suit yourself. Suit yourself. Well then. Let's see what Lottie has in her lunchbox. What is that? Lottie didn't take her hormones. Maybe the fortune teller was right after all. What's that you've got? Is that a message from the front? No less. Not from Bozo by any chance. <laughs> would I lie to you about such an important topic? Or would I leave the conclusion to your imagination in the hope that it might by chance help me out? Yeah, enough with the fancy schmancy. Give me the letter. My dearest honey bunch. Huh. Are you sure this letter is for me? Bambi. Honey. Makes sense. Some people get poetic when they're mortally wounded. What? Ah, sorry. I <laughs> didn't mean to jump the gun. Wait. Dearest Honey Bunch, uh, I wish you were here with me. Blah, 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 blah. To be more exact, I stepped on an Organon landmine. Oh, no. Bozo. Is he all right? Well... Is he still alive? Tell me. Or do I have to pull the information out of you in the form of your brain tissue through your nose? Hey, hey, stay calm. No reason to get aggressive right away. I'm just a mailman. Bozo is with his family. You should set out right away. Wait, there's more. Watch out for the mailman? Oh, no, the small print isn't that important. Go on. You're losing valuable time. Right. I need to be by his side. Hang on, Bozo. I'm coming. <laughs> that was easy. And I didn't even have to lie. Presenting. The new and improved Rufus. Forget the Rufus you once knew. Here's a photo of Bozo's first spelling bee. He never had any luck with L and F, but nobody could touch him when it came to E. Hello? What's he wearing? Oh, that's a little skirt he made himself from dental floss. Oh, that's nice. He saved up for months. His breath was terrible. Uh, uh, Yoo-hoo, Deponia to Sergeant Bambi. Oh, how sweet. 
Beefy fairy frill pajamas. Why does he look so embarrassed? I have no idea. Actually, he was supposed to help me put fresh sheets on his bed. What a mess. Huh, they're totally out of it. Hello, I am Bailiff Argus. Tremble before the deadly punctuality of the Organon. <laughs> oh, wonderful. You found my breast milk pump. <laughs> what? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Can't you wait until dinner is ready? But it smells so good. You think so? It's just leftover roast dripping. <laughs> oh, no, that would be a shame. Who knows if future generations will even still like roast drippings. Can I have the crowbar? Sure. I need it. Yeah. Sure, pal. Take it. Why do you need one? That's a shoehorn. I see. Good idea! If I set the frequency of Tony's radio on the baby phone, I can reach Tony any time! Easy! Now all that's left is the question of why I should radio her at all. She stopped fetching me from random bars with a wheelbarrow a long time ago. Yoo-hoo! Oh, Rufus, why don't you just admit that... Wait a minute. One Rufus? Two Rufuses? <laughs> exactly. There's two of me now. Three, actually. Three times the action! Rufus! 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 Ah! All right, Tony, just stay calm. You have a good therapist, and you're gonna see him right now. <laughs> that was fun. And now suddenly, I see him twice. What does it mean? Is my subconscious trying to give me a heart attack? I have a feeling this is going to add months to my therapy. We must extend it. What? Make it even longer? Um, I mean, what the kind of schedule were you thinking of? Well, at least until the world ends. And after that, let's see. <laughs> Yes, that would be the perfect distance for a maiden flight. And the target is also well chosen. By now, he must have realized that he needs help. Well then, let's relieve the poor devil. Whoopsie! There must be some strange updrafts here.
Uh-huh. What? There's a flyer stuck in the outside wall. Gah, what pathetic construction. Whoever made this obviously had no idea how to fold a proper paper airplane. Unlike me, of course. Therapeutic ropes. The cheaper alternative. What's that supposed to mean? Is somebody trying to yank my chain? And wait a minute. What's this? There's something stuck to the tip. A capital Yerk. Huh. Now I'm going to show that unknown, nameless amateur how you do this right. Whoopsie wee! Boy, they must have some funny downdrafts around here. And then it turned out he'd come up with the idea to store his fish hooks in my jewelry box. He'd already stuck the bait on them. It was so horrible. It made me wish my ears would fall off. I can relate to that right now. Ow! What is this? A flyer? Hmm. Sure, why not? Uh, Miss Tony, I have good news for you. I finally found the appropriate therapy for your problem. Wait a moment, I'll just write you a prescription. Oh wow, so beautiful. It fits. So far, so good. Now, what am I going to apply for? Yerk 75. There. Wow! That went fast. We hereby inform you that your application for medical help has been approved. Hey, cool! I bet they'll be sending me to sick bay now. It says here, for this category of injury, it will not be necessary for you to report to sick bay. Oh, a medic is already on his way to your location. Uh oh. Shh. Shh. Run, Rufus. Hey, you! Stop! See how our oh so heroic cowboy Dodo gets along with the organelle. <laughs> and then I knocked him out with a well aimed karate chop. Wow. Ah, Rufus. We've got a new problem. Unfortunately, I had to use our rope to tie up the organ on. He popped up all of a sudden, and I was forced to subdue him. Anyone could have done that. Tell me, um, are you part of the medical staff? I think I feel an idea coming here. Hold still. <laughs> it worked. Usually, I drop all the glasses. Cool. It worked. Ah, Doctor, there you are at last. You're just in time. I was about to give up on this patient. Give up? Why? What's wrong with him? Well, first I thought it was a simple case of food poisoning, but then I did a safety scan, just to be sure. There is no doubt about it. The patient has a tapeworm. <laughs> but, Doctor... A tapeworm is no laughing matter. This is serious. You must operate at once. 
<laughs> what? Me? Of course you. You're the doctor, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Sure, I'm the doctor. And removing a tape worm is, is uh, child's play for me. I mean, just how hard can it be? Oh, uh, 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 of course, I mean, you say, uh, your coat is hanging over there, as usual. I'll go and get the dissecting kit and the bone saw. <laughs> yeah, I... Now, what was I about to do? Uh, uh, surgically remove the tapeworm? Ah, yes. Piece of cake. I am a sturgeon, after all. Uh, a surgeon, you mean? Uh, yeah, that too. <laughs> Got it. Well, that's it. <laughs> uh, won't you get to put him back together? Well, what do you mean? Do I have to? I think it would be beneficial to the patient. Oh, well, all right, fine. Ow! Oh, oh. Ah! Um, where does the, uh, the last part go? Ah, well, who cares? It can't have been that important. Okay, all done. Close him up. Now, that went really well. Don't you think so? I'm about to be sick. Oh, stop fetching. After all, I saved your life. And I even got myself a keepsake. Here. Oh, yuck. What's that supposed to be? Your tapeworm. What else? You know, you should pay a little more attention to what you stuff your face with. But never mind. We've got more important things to do. I found the rebels, and I need your help. Come on. Fish? I think I see double. What? 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 What the? I don't believe it. <laughs> Didn't expect that, huh? The tide has turned. Now we can take another vote about who's gonna get the coat. I vote for me. And I for me. What? No. Hey. Well, in that case, it looks like I won the vote. You see, I'm gonna vote for your doppelganger too. So it's three to two to two. No, 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 no. I need to do this. You wanted another vote, so we took one. Now all we need is rope, and then we can start. What are you doing? You were supposed to vote for me. And why aren't you voting for me? After all, we're identical, right? So it totally doesn't matter which one of us gets the codes, just as long as it isn't that harmless doofus. <laughs> I agree. We must get rid of it somehow. I'll think of something. Hmm. What's that? A prescription for a rope? I hung it here at eye level to keep it in the back of my mind as an option, in case you showed up again. <laughs> Can I have it? Oh! I prayed for this for years, and you're finally gonna get yourself a rope? It must be my birthday! Aw, and I didn't bring you a cake. Not to mention 100 candles. Take the prescription and get out. I'm on my way. <laughs> nice to see you're back to your old self, with the emphasis on old. Out!
Yeah, I have a prescription here for a rope. Oh, may I see it? <laughs> ah, yes. I still have one of those in stock. Would you like some waterproofing spray with it? Some bridge railings can be quite damp this time of year. Ah, that's all right. Wait a second. This is just a shoelace. Well, I'm afraid your healthcare insurance care provider won't cover for a better model. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, there's something moving there. Isn't that... <gasps> of course. That's baby Bozo in great danger. I have to tell Barry about it. news I have a subject really what is it come on I'll show you oh dear that's terribly high ah stop whining and keep your camera ready because what I'm about to do I'm only gonna do once unless the picture isn't any good we'll do it again <laughs> yeah, exactly. That will make a terrific trap. Ta da! Perfect. Um, Rufus, are you sure that a snare is the best option here? Of course I'm sure. Like the cowboys do it. You like cowboys, don't you? I like Cowboy Dodo from the local radio station. But I can't imagine that he would lure a baby into a snare. Because he's not a real cowboy. Just let me do this, okay? And uh, keep your camera ready. <laughs> now he's trapped. And who's smarter now? <laughs> <laughs> um, Rufus is is that part of the plan? I can't understand you. Uh, what are you trying to tell me? Uh, maybe if you just point at it? The end of the rope? I don't know if I can. Alright, alright. I'm coming already. Oh, Barry, just don't look down. Just don't. Oh! I did it! Yeah, and I helped! Helped? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, and when you're done basking in my reflected glory, would you finally take the picture? Uh, are you sure? I can barely hold on as it is. Take the stupid picture! Um, all right. Um, the picture. Well, that worked great. You think so? I can't even remember how it all happened. <laughs> then you missed the best part. Did I take a picture? And what a picture. Let me, um, borrow this for a moment.
I've got an idea. Are you about to infect me with another tapeworm? Much better. All you need to do is hold open the pneumatic tube over there with this screwdriver. And what good will that do? Take a good look. He's sitting right in a line of fire. As soon as the next capsule comes down the tube, then... Blammo! Hmm. That might even work. But only if a capsule comes before my arms fall off. I'll see to that. I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, stop, stop, stop! I wanted to get the Ascension codes. And so you will. I mean, the other you. The vote was unanimous. Congratulations. But how could that happen? Your doppelganger saved Cowboy Dota's life. Like, for real. He did what? A pneumatic tube capsule hit me in the head and I almost fell off the tower. Your doppelganger didn't hesitate to catch him. He's a true hero. You were completely right, Rufus. I need to apologize. To think that I was about to cause you bodily harm just so I could be the one who saves the world. Please, forgive me. Eh, no hard feelings. Fine. This is all sorted out, Shane. All we are still missing now is a robe. All right. I think I found some kind of rope. The tapeworm? Forget it. Perhaps this clown would actually abseil down a tapeworm, but I must have a real rope. Wouldn't you consider making an exception? So, our home planet will not be blown to Schmitz and so forth. No. I am the one who has to go down there. So the least he can do is get me a decent rope. Don't you agree? Friends, friends. Do we really have to keep fighting about these ego issues? If there's one thing I've learned today... Oh, please. Not another motivational speech. I'll do it. Let me see. I think I need to get it down from here somehow. Too bad these corner pieces can't be freely moved. They rotate like the others. But only as long as they're not blocked. Ah, never mind. It'll work somehow. Brain dead halfwit, you really can't do anything right, can you? But it worked, so don't get your panties in a knot. You know, you almost sound like Cletus. That's because I am Cletus! Huh? Yes, surprise! Anyone with an intellect higher than that of a microbe would have noticed at once, but not you, you dim witted, fat headed. Ugh! Never mind. Even though the time I spent with you was sheer torture, I've got the Ascension Codes! And now, I can enter the High Boat instead of Argus! Au revoir, mon enemy! Wow, so mean. What a nasty character. As soon as I figure out what that means, I'll let it happen. Ha ha ha! Yeah! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! What? Oh. <laughs> you had it coming, dirtbag. But funny as that may be, I think we should get out of here fast, Janosch. Uh, Janosch?
Well, well. The Organon headquarters are infested with rebels. Would anyone care to explain? I expected as much. Line up in front of the cell, now! Five rebels and that Cletus chap. Who assumes responsibility for this outrageous blunder? Oppenboss? Me, Bailiff? But I was with you the entire time, helping you with the boarding of the high boat. Did I hear you contradict me? For that, you are hereby assigned to lugging crates. Dismissed. But... I said dismissed! Yes, Bailiff. Right. Anyone else? Come on. Don't be shy. Which one of you is responsible? I assume full responsibility, Bailiff. I insist that you send me off to lug crates as well. What do you know? An Organon with courage. You should all take a leaf out of his book. Go ahead, soldier. Step forward. As a reward, we will now sing the Organon hymn to our brave comrade before we ceremoniously toss him down from the tower. Organon! Organon! Hey, snot noses, come here. And now be good and keep still, okay? What exactly are you planning to do? Keep still. That applies to your pie hole as well. Ta-da! And... Here we are. Bananas. Oh well, could have been worse. If I really understand quantum theory, then I had a 50% chance of finding a dead cat in there. That was at least a 10.0. Hey you, monkey want a banana? Are you calling me a monkey? I wouldn't mind having a banana. No way. It's bad enough that I have to play the monkey. I won't be insulted on top of it. But you make the better monkey. What are you trying to imply? Never mind that now. I'm hungry, and with all that fuss you're making, we'll never get those five Zlotties. I'll take the banana. Oh, so you are making the decisions now. Oh, I'm sorry. Me and my monkey will gladly accept the banana. How dare you? Hey, come back, you monkey! <laughs> ah, rats! Can I borrow the crank? Go ahead and take it. I need a new partner anyway before I can start grinding again. And this time, I am definitely not going to be the monkey. But remember, I need the crank back. <laughs> sure.
As in previous years, the prize for the most obvious inventory puzzle goes to the crank. Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen. Au revoir, mes amis. May this jack lift your van into a better life. Rufus, poet, philanthropist, hey, back patient. Goon? Goon, you old war horse! What are you doing here? Hey, Rufus, I don't know how I can ever thank you. That's no reason to get all sarcastic. I know I treated you badly, but I've mended my ways. Yes, I know. I could hardly believe it. And then you found us this great place in the city. Yeah, I, I did. How odd. Oh, yeah. The good old days, huh? But Rufus, we already talked about that. We did? Not that I can remember. Can't have been that interesting. Uh, can I borrow the uh, space heater? Sorry, Rufus. We still need it. Although, it's a lot warmer here already. Why don't you just come out into the sunshine? But Goon, your grass allergy. Ah, so what? Will it kill you to stand for a moment? After all, it isn't good for a relationship if you're constantly in each other's lap. Says the man responsible for the bizarre impairment of his girlfriend's sanity. <laughs> bizarre impairment. <laughs> I have to remember that one. Where is she anyway? Yeah, um, okay, different idea. Can I have the space heater if I find you something to sit on? Oh, deal! <laughs> as long as it isn't an electric chair. <laughs> I already said deal. Here's a deck chair for you. Oh, Rufus. We couldn't possibly accept that. Of course you can. But it must have been expensive. Ah, you can reimburse me later when you're back on your feet. I mean, who needs money when you can make someone happy? Wow, Rufus. I don't know what to say. How about thank you? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Rufus. And you'll get your money back. I promise. Now hurry. Are uh, you getting anywhere? Oh, oh, not really. I wish there was an instruction manual. Oh. Well, you can't have everything. Uh, can I borrow the uh, space heater? Yeah, go ahead and take it. We're about to go lie in the sun. Oh boy, I can hardly wait. Hey, how many more times are you going to turn that crank? I don't know. Is there a limit? Yes, and you used it up. Oh, come on. Just one more time. Ah! All right, you get to turn that crank just one more time. But then, I want my crank back. Do you understand? Yay! <laughs> No, wait, what am I doing? Are you all right? Nothing is right. Everything was so perfect. Goon and I had this little place right in the middle of town, and then we were separated. Oh, it's a jungle out there, you know. And some people will end up getting eaten. <laughs> Thank you.
Finally, just stick it back on the organ, all right? Bingo bongo! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Are you going to play the monkey now? Yeah, I wouldn't dream of it. Then leave my face alone. Unless, of course, you know someone who would be willing to take over the job. Let's see. Hmm, do I know someone who would like to play the dancing monkey for a monkey in the sewer? Hmm. I would also give you my first take as a finder's fee. Oh, maybe I'll come up with someone after all. Show them the face. It's the only cool thing about the job. Yeah, but if you had a job, you could buy the crank from the organ grinder. You think so? That sleazy guy has already tried to hit on me more than once. What would I have to do? Well, just uh, support his act a bit. It's no big deal, really. Hmm. That doesn't sound too bad. Decide it. You can discuss everything else with him. In the meantime, I'll find you a paying audience. Hello again, unfair lady. Ah, the young father is back. The organ grinder has a new monkey. A new monkey, you say? Oh, I definitely have to see that. I hope the performance is really demeaning. <laughs> that would actually be worth five slotties to me. <laughs> dance, little monkey, dance! <laughs> Shameful! That was truly awful! The poor girl, and I'm only giving her the five zlotties because I'm sorry for her. Do you hear that? The crowd is not pleased. So the next time... You need to look a bit more friendly. The next time? But we had an agreement. As soon as you earn the five Zlotties, I get the crank. That's correct. But the five Zlotties don't belong to me yet. I need them to pay off my expenses first. Expenses? What? Ah, Rufus, you've got to help me. The stupid monkey won't give me that crank because he claims he has to pay some kind of expenses. Well, yes, that's right. Go ahead, Rufus. Tell her. Uh, well... You know, uh... Rufus? But... What are you doing? What does it look like? He is taking what he is due his commission for successful job recruitment. Yeah, I, I, exactly. The, uh, commission. Does that mean you sold me? What? No, I, I wouldn't put it like that. Rufus! You sold me to a monkey, all the while acting like you wanted to help me. But I need that crank. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Can't you see how this money is making monkeys out of all of you? As if there wasn't anything more important in life than filthy lucre. You know, you should be grateful that I opened your eyes. I found you a job and taught you a valuable lesson. It doesn't matter what you do, as long as you stay true to your goals. Because the end justifies the means. Which, strictly speaking, makes me a saint. I've got an idea. Now all we need is electricity. Rat! 
boats. The cable isn't long enough. Hey, snot faces, what about making yourselves useful? How? You could stick this conductive antenna into that outlet. You mad? You mustn't poke things into outlets. Oh, yada, yada, yada. You must have misunderstood. I've done it a thousand times. There you go. And now? Hold on tight. Just wait. It's about to start. Ow! <laughs> Did you say something? No need to worry. Nothing happened to Uncle Rufus. <laughs> you bet your relation! Okay, right, snot faces. Time to sleep. Yeah, but... Save your breath. No yeah buts. You got light, you're warm, and you already blew your veto. So there you go. Good night. What's wrong? Why are you still awake? You haven't tucked us in yet. <laughs> tucked you in? <laughs> like a shirt tail? No, not like a shirt tail. When you put children to bed, you need to tuck them in. Don't you know anything? Sure, I know plenty of stuff. Like uh, a napkin, right? And what I ask you could be tastier than meat in a light pastry crust. Mmm, smells delicious. Ah, a cooking show. Just the thing to make you fall asleep. I don't have anything left. Absolutely nothing. A reasonable sales because I don't know. What's this? A handsome applicant. Mm. <laughs> what? Hey! Whoa! Huh? Oh. Burrito wraps, just one twenty-five zlotys a piece. <laughs> Bravo! Encore! Burrito wraps, just one twenty-five zlotys a piece. Wow, I see you've really gotten into your new job. Burrito wraps, burrito wraps. What's wrong with him? He's focusing. You are his first customer after all. Are you sure? Burrito wraps. He seems kind of moonstruck. Burrito wraps. Trust me. That's perfectly normal. The host has still to adapt to the symbiote. The host? Uh, a host. You have to be a good host if you sell burrito wraps. Perfectly normal. Four burrito wraps, please. Four burrito wraps coming right up. That will be five zelotis. Come again any time to... I, uh... I think there's something wrong with your assistant. 
Jesus. What? Has his system crashed? Uh, try turning him off and then on again. Burrito wraps, just one twenty-five zlotys a piece. Ah, there we go. Please excuse the small glitch. No problem. It's so hard to find good employees these days. Watch out, it's gonna get really comfortable now. For me at least, because your constant whining will come to an end. There, now go to sleep. I don't know. Come on, don't pretend to be more stupid than you already are. I mean, I know you're dumb, but you can't be too dumb to fall asleep. In that case, even those sleeping scorpions back there would be smarter than you. Oh wait, my bad, they're not actually sleeping, they're lurking. What's wrong? Why are you still awake? We're hungry. Ah, uh, you're cold, overexcited, and hungry. What'll it be next? A classic like I Need the Bathroom? Well, actually. Ah, uh, share goalie's bucket. Yuck. Hey, snot noses, here comes your grub. This will get you nice and tired. <laughs> Man, did they dig in. They only left one plate, and now they're asleep. Actually, they're kind of cute. <laughs> I could just eat them up. There it is. Hey, there it is. The nucleic acid that I can use to grow goal up again. Luckily, the cylinder still seems to be in one piece and the fish was already swimming in it. Ah, oh, a new customer. What can I do for you? Yeah, I need that uh, cylinder with the uh, green fluid over there. The nucleic acid? A good choice. This stuff just came in. Yeah, I know. That was a mistake. Actually, it belongs to me. Dream on, kid. I paid the five slotties for it. But I'd be glad to offer you a special price. Hmm. And that would mean... It costs more money than there is in the entire sewers. Exactly. An unimaginable, unprecedented amount. Six slotties. I need the nucleic acid extremely urgently. The fate of the world depends on it. Six Zlotties and it's yours. A tankard of your finest swill, please. Sure thing. Have you got the five Zlotties on you? What? You pay cash here? <laughs> How old fashioned. Where I come from, I could just put the swill on my tab. Tab? Like some sort of loan? Yeah, exactly. Then my customers could drink a lot more. You've grasped the principle. And I would earn a lot more. Yeah? I mean, yes, of course. That doesn't sound too bad. Help yourself. And if you bring my other customers something too, you're welcome to put a two slotty tip on the tab. Oh, yeah. Deal. K. 
Can I put the nucleic acid on my tab? You must be out of your mind. It's worth a fortune. <sighs> I'll get the money somehow. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Six zlotties. There isn't even that much money down here. I like that picture of Elysium. Can I have it? No. The picture stays where it is. It's important. What for? For the customers. What for? Because it cheers them up, right? On the contrary. It keeps them in a permanent state of dissatisfaction. That's Elysium. The symbol of hope. Of a better life. A life of order and satisfaction. I'm sort of only one step away from it. You want something to drink first? Yeah, sure. Nice clientele. Yeah, if you like freak shows. Hey, is that any way to talk about your customers? Well, look at them. A parade of sad sacks without a single prospect among them. You know, those sad sacks are your livelihood. Oh, I didn't mean any disrespect. I'm just a realist. If you want to feel better about yourself, then everybody else has to feel worse. Right? What? No, it, do it doesn't work like that. Oh, you want everybody to feel better? Yeah, as long as I'm one of them, yes. Then answer me this simple question. Better than who? Well, <laughs> You seem familiar. Do you have any siblings? I had a brother. Had? What happened? He tried to smash a stone block with his head, just when I told him to go easy on the mushrooms. <sighs> Whatever. Just leave me alone, unless you want to buy me a drink. You seem familiar. Aren't you that dog groomer to the stars? Eh, hey, close. I'm a fruit seller. I inherited the business from my father. They called him King Peach. You're the heir to the famous King Peach Empire? That means you're... At risk of alcoholism, exactly. So beat it, unless you want to buy me a drink. You seem familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? Well, do you know the comic book Charlie the Friendly Yeti? Of course. I'm a big fan. No, no, no. Don't tell me. Oh, yeah. I'm... <gasps> the original character? What? No, I'm the guy that delivers the ink. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> terrific. But you know, they always do stare at me and scribble frantically whenever I arrive. I think I need more alcohol, so you beat it. Unless you want to buy me a drink. Hey, hands off! We don't serve that stuff here anymore. Why not? For one thing, I ran out of slime pipe moldings. For another, the stuff has a bad effect on my customers. And it's hard enough running a pub without the customers flinging turtle shells at each other. Hey, hands off! We don't serve that stuff here anymore. Why not? First of all, because my customers act like monkeys when they drink that stuff. Secondly, because it's a hell of a lot of work to get all the hair out of the tankards. And thirdly, because it's getting harder and harder to get the secret ingredient. Ever since my mother started the menopause. Hey, hands off! We don't serve that stuff here anymore. Why not? Well, first of all, because it has an unacceptably negative effect on the morale in this pub. And second, there have been complaints that in some cases, the effects of the brew can only be reversed by surgical intervention.
Refills! Ah, uh, finally. Ugh, what lousy swill. It doesn't compare to the yummy mushroom slops they used to have here. So no tip for you. As a witch, you must know a lot about mushrooms, right? I'm not a witch, you lout. Yeah, never mind that. Do you know if I can find a mushroom like this around here? It just so happens I do. Yes. And? Which is it? One of these here. Three guesses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if that's all... Ouch. Oh, got that wrong. Sorry, two more tries. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, got that wrong. Sorry, one more try. Got it with you, right? <laughs> you guessed right. Congratulations. Here, go ahead and take it. <laughs> Thanks. It's been itching like hell. Yeah, that's going to be tasty. I always said I had the makings of a bartender. Refills! Ah, uh, finally. Whoa! What is this? I feel great! Bigger and stronger! <laughs> uh, maybe because you're standing on the table? Fantastic stuff! You go ahead and add a tip to the tab! Refills! Finally. Ugh, what lousy swell. That don't compare to the yummy hormone swell we used to have here. Ah, no tip for you. Yeah, that's going to be tasty. I always said I had the makings of a bartender. Refills! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is getting kind of warm in here. We 
refills. Finally. Ugh, what lousy swill. It don't compare to the yummy hair growth swill we used to have here. No tip for you. Yeah, that's gonna be tasty. I always said I had the makings of a bartender. Refills! Hey, wait a sec. What you doing? Well, my job. I'm meeting customer demands. That's what the ancient Romans called service. Because only satisfied customers are paying customers. Right? Where do you hear that nonsense? This is a pub. People's dissatisfaction is my livelihood. If you keep on like that, I'll be ruined. The only thing that's your and here is your attitude. Take a look around. <laughs> Just stuff. That would put hair on your chest. Yeah, if only it was just the chest. <laughs> mm, the best swill I've had in ages. Yoo-hoo! Hmm. <laughs> they actually look rather happy. Told you so. Heavens to Betsy! Ow! Everything's gone down the tubes now anyway. Cool! Hey Bozo! Since you cancelled your therapy, I thought of an alternative! I can be your therapist! Rufus! Come on, it's gonna be fun. I'm just gonna hold up a few flashcards. How hard can it be? Now, what do you see in this picture? Oh, do we really have to do this? Ah! Elysium is going to crash into Deponia. We're all gonna die. Nonsense. This is Elysium, the symbol of hope. Man, you are really a few fries short of a Sunday. Hey, Bozo! What do you see in this picture? And all I want to do is... Ah! That's the devil! No way! That's me! Busy saving a small child in distress. Man, you're really one whoopee cushion short of a funeral. Hey, Bozo! What do you see in this picture? Leave me be. Please, oh please. Ah! That's terrible. Why would you show me something like that? But look, it's a cute little birdie. Oh man, you are seriously messed up. I need another therapy session. What? Again? Uh, fine. Uh, 
let's get it over with. Can we play that card game again? You mean you want to repeat the Rorschach test? All right. Why not? This time I'm going to win. I just know it. So, what do you see in this picture? Elysium crashing into Deponia. I see. You feel anxiety because of the impending apocalypse. Yes, because I'm a cowardly walrus who prefers to hide in his bed instead of assisting his friends in their cool adventures. Indeed. I think we're making real progress here. Next picture, then. What do you see here? That is terrible. Why would you show me something like that? Oh, interesting. Can you tell me why you react with so much disgust? Uh, uh no idea. Yeah, maybe it's something about complexes. Be because I have a few, or... Whatever. I mean, yes. Yes. Quite definitely. I have tons of complexes that need to be treated with drugs. It is still too soon for a final diagnosis, but we have one picture left. It's the devil. A handsome devil, I must admit. But nonetheless, it's the devil. I see. This really sounds like a very bad case. According to my analysis, you are quite right to be depressed. You are suffering from a strange persona who is making your life hell. You are in dire need of psychotropic drugs. Take whatever you need from my closet. Ha <laughs> ha, yippee! Excuse me? Huh? Oh, right, I'm... Woe is me, poor spineless wretch that I am. That's more like it. Hey, Bozo, this time I've got just the thing for you. Yummy psychotropic drugs. Say, eh? <sighs> Come on, open up. Here comes the high boat. Don't wanna. Aw, oh, tell me this isn't true. I've been so sure this time. Maybe I should mix it with his food. Yeah, he's bound to get hungry at some point. Perfect. If I mix the antidepressants into the soup, it'll be a lot easier to trick Bozo into taking them. Eh, says here you should take a maximum of two tablets per day. But Bozo's big enough for two, and he's as frustrated as ten. Ah, what the heck. I'll dump them all in. Better safe than sorry. What the? Oh, I don't believe it. Baby Bozo ate the rest of the soup, but the antidepressants for Bozo were in there. Bad baby. Bad, bad baby. Huh, I don't see any other way to get my antidepressants back. Be a good boy and say, A. <laughs> yeah, we'll practice our spelling again later. Enough! Stop right now. Nobody needs your help, especially not in saving the world, because no one wants to live in a world where you, of all people, get to play the hero. You aren't a hero. You're a total asshole, and you're gonna kill us all! 
And you just don't get it. Because we're all much too nice to you. Oh, Rufus. He doesn't mean it. But you do mean it. Do you want to know what we're really thinking? We're thinking, get lost. We're thinking, just drop dead. You say you want to help us, right? Fine. Then why don't you? Why don't you just keel over and die? <sighs> oh, that was, uh, wow. Suddenly I feel great. I feel so <laughs> liberated. It's like I could take on anything now. I... Oh, uh, Rufus, are you all right? <laughs> Bozo! Oh, you old pirate face! <laughs> You're back! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, dang it. Looks like it, huh? Woohoo! So, what are we waiting for? We must get to the rebel camp. Just wait until I put on my coat. Oh, man. I just lost it there. Perhaps it's not a bad thing after all to just let it out. I was so angry. So mean. And for the first time, completely honest. If I look at it that way... <laughs> Maybe you're one of the good guys after all, huh? <laughs> there, you ready? Sure, let's go! And you're sure that this is Rufus? Absolutely sure. Do you really think there's more of his kind running around? Right. You have me convinced. You can come in. Garleth, why are you skulking around? And where are the others? They're having a general assembly. A what? How can they have a general assembly without me? Or Yanosh? Or you and Libel? We're here to guard the door. So nobody from our old gang is attending the general assembly? That's scandalous. I'll go and have a word with this so-called new general. You can't. The general is not to be disturbed. <laughs> and what happens if the Organon attacks? It won't. The Organon is retreating. <laughs> What do you think? The Organon's attacking! Holy moly! Libos! What? The Organon's attacking! For real? Yeah, man! Oh, shit! Quick! Man the guns! <laughs> what the? The rebels are attacking us! Quick, men! Take up your positions! <laughs> That's it. A great opportunity to make myself scarce. But first, to get rid of these duds. Oh, that must have been the last crate. The goods transporter to the high boat can be switched off for now. And now I'm going to watch Cowboy Dodo for a while. Doc? What happened here? The place looks... Black. Deepest black. Like the color of... Oh, never mind. Say, have you been drinking... 
Leave him be. Tony? So you're in command here now? Not really. Well, who then? That would be me. Dad? I mean, Seagull? That's General Seagull to you. How come you look like that? I was shot and fell into the Rust Red Sea. Then a shark came and clamped onto my leg. Luckily, a whale came and ate the shark. And me as well. I fought the shark in the whale's belly until the whale swallowed a poisonous giant octopus. And then... The whale vomited up the octopus, the shark, and me into the middle of the Sea of Shards. <laughs> well, that explains your smell, but not why you're a general. Your father has a plan, Rufus. Listen to him. Unlike everything you have tried so far, it's going to work. Huh, I can barely contain my curiosity. We're going to blast Elysium out of the sky. <laughs> I'm bored already. You see, what? What? Wait a minute. You want to do what? No, you, you can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. Doc constructed this cannon here, and Tony's task force acquired an Organon Planet Destroyer. I mean, you mustn't. You can't. They don't even know we exist. And you want to let them know before they blow us to pieces? That was the plan, yes. So what are you doing here, then? Well, it's, it's complicated. Uh, right now, I'm not only here, but I'm also saving goal at the same time, while I also delay the last high boat until we're on board. It's true. He cloned himself. Oh, great. As if we didn't have enough problems. You're a monster. I'm not a monster, Rufus. I have a proposal. Go on. Astound us all with your rescue operation. But... No, no, it's all right, Tony. Let Rufus try and fail one more time. When the last high boat leaves without goal, there'll still be time to blow up Elysium. What do you say, Rufus? Do you have enough faith in yourself to agree to my proposal? Ha! You can bet on it. I have the money. The five slotties? No. No, I mean I have enough money to buy the nucleic acid. Impossible. Six slotties? Well, I'll be. I didn't think that much money actually existed. Now I just have to get it out. Have fun! What happened here? Where's Goal? Can you spit us out? Already on the way. Well, at least nothing happened to the rest of you. But Usti! Excuse me, who? <laughs> I've never heard the name Usti before. Besides, I'd remember if there'd been a third brat. Believe me, you're all here. You and, uh, you know, who's it instead? Uh, nah, it doesn't matter anyway. Much more important is, where is Goal? In the tunnel back there? Then she can't be far. Okay, you stay here with, uh, with, uh, yeah, you stay here. Don't leave it too long. It's alone with an A. <laughs> Boy. Goalie! Gee, chick, 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 Goalie! Oh, what a relief! Wait, wait! Don't move! I'm coming down to save you! yoo -hoo. Huh? Rufus? What are you doing down there? What do you think? I'm doing all the work. Ah, don't make me laugh. Hey, I fought my way through half of the OHQ. Yeah, and have you been able to stop Argus? I'm working on it. And you? Have you succeeded in making gold big again? Hey, I'm almost there. Well, give a holler if you need anything. From you, dream on. Yeah, maybe the other way around. Believe what you want.
Express cargo to Elysium. Recipient will pay shipping. Um, hmm? Yeah, anybody there? Hello! What do you know? There's still one barrel left that's bound for Elysium. I'd better get that on its way, and fast. Although I do ask myself why the Elysian Bailiff would need an entire barrel full of leeches. No! All right, hang in there, goalie. I'm coming. <laughs> This must have been the very last barrel. The bailiff will be happy. I had better report to him right away. Ugh, that was disgusting. But it was worth it. I finally made my way to Ascension Customs, and I got rid of that old case of blood poisoning once and for all. So now, my way to the Ascension Codes is clear. Let's have a look, shall we? Memo... <coughs> Memo to, uh, self. The cartridge is in the safe. The combination is... <laughs> this is almost too easy. Four, four, three, seven. Uh-oh. Ah! Surrounded by idiots. All right, it's taken care of. Now I need to put on those silly clothes and get the cartridge. Da 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 da, cowboy dodo, cowboy dodo. Ah, da 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 da. Rats, looks like I'm in hot water now. And I didn't get the safe combination either. Da 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 da, cowboy dodo, cowboy dodo. Ah, da 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 da. Da 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 da, cowboy dodo, cowboy dodo. Ah, da 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 da. Da 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 da, cowboy dodo, cowboy dodo. Ah, da 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 da. Oh, great. Now I look a total twat. But I guess that was the plan. Which, by the way, is almost complete. Now I just need to fetch the cartridge from the safe. If only I could remember that stupid combination. Open, Bart! Are you cool? Ah! Intruder! Nonsense, you nitwit! It's me, Argus! I'm only wearing this grotesque outfit for invading Elysium! Oh, that's all right, then. Nothing is all right. We can forget the invasion if people keep losing my things for me. This time, my dictaphone's gone missing. Would you know anything about it? Well, I think I may have to check my memory for that. Then what are you waiting for? These annoying slip-ups are jeopardizing our success! Ah, 
I've got it. The dictaphone should be lying right behind you on the desk. You imbecilic lunkhead. I know that. Do you really think I buy Ulysses' whiskers? Little by little, I'm going mad. It's as if that Rufus were contagious. You're dismissed, Oppenbot. Thank you, sir. Right. And now... Oh, nothing. Don't tell me you're malfunctioning again, you filthy piece of scrap! Hello? Hello? Talk to me! Do you hear? Talk to me! The cartridge is in the safe. The combination is 4437. Last. I knew there was a 7 in there. <laughs> He's got a little surprise coming. What the... Is everything all right, Does it sound like everything's all right, Offenbot? Switch off that blasted alarm! Now! But are you quite sure that you're yourself, sir? Offenbot! All right, all right. Uh, which button switches off the alarm again? Could it be this one? No. That one? No. Oops. No wonder I can't focus on that. is in the safe. The combination is 4473. Aha! Uh -huh. 4473. Just like Gold's birthday! No, wait, wasn't that 4437? Or 4347? Ah, who cares? Just as long as it's easy to remember. 44. Uh, something. It's similar to Gold's birthday. I feel an idea coming on. The cartridge is not in the safe. It fell behind the desk. <laughs> I may be onto something. Must have been the right button. It worked, Bailiff. Excellent. May I ask how this mishap came to pass, sir? If only I knew. I'm sure that I entered the combination correctly, as stated on the dictaphone. <laughs> and now, I'm out of here. If you don't need my services... Yes, go away. Dismissed. Cartridge is not in the safe. It fell behind the desk. Yes, wouldn't be the first time. I'd better check that right away. That must be Cletus. How does he manage to escape every time? Now, what was that again? I. M. N. No. Ugh, wait. Darn it. How can I work with this din going on? Open bot! Why did that alarm go off again? I don't know, baby. So what are you waiting for? Switch it off! Hmm. 
one more try. What was it again? Oh, yeah. Gold birthday. Four, four, seven, three. Oh, crap. Not Gold's birthday. Right. That wasn't Gold's birthday anyway. Good thing I can never remember her. <laughs> the Ascension code. At last. There's another rebel! Go get him! Uh-oh. Where did he go? Where did who go? An intruder just ran in here! Wait a moment. Hey, you! Come out of there at once! Better move on, or shall I make you? Come out, I said! Is that you? Uh, of course it... Of, of course it's me. Mind your own business, man. Your colleague needs help with that intruder. Very well, Bailiff. That's it. Time's up. Guess that was it, wasn't it, Rufus? Just a second. The other two... What the... Ah! Ouch. Is this a bad time to drop in? Oh, contraire. We were just about to aim the cannon so we can blow Elysium out of the sky once and for all. Say what? Did you mess this up? Oh, contrary, alter ego. I explained to him that it isn't necessary because you can save gold, right? Consider it done. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sure this is going to be an absolute highlight. You bet it is. Watch closely. But... Burn their brains! Saw a foot off their legs! No! This can't be! This is Donna! I can see it's Donna! Where's Goal? Well, I, I, I don't have it. I don't know! And why does Donna have Goal's hair color? Hermes! <laughs> Bravo! That was even funnier than I expected. But enough, Lemmy. We have a paradise to shoot out of the sky. Duck! No! Stop! It's too late, Rufus. You had your chance, and you screwed up yet again. Go ahead, Doc. Aim that cannon. I'm sorry, Rufus. We don't have a choice. None of us want to die. But... Enough. Open the cannon doors. Good. Is the loading chamber closed? Oops. That almost went terribly wrong. Stop! 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 You, you really can't do that! Is there no one here on my side? Why are you looking at me? Why would they be? You already proved to us, rather impressively, that there are no alternatives. But there is! The third Rufus can still save the day! Hold your horses! Are you really going to leave without Goal? Goal is safe! You don't have your facts straight. Bring the girl! Goal! You're back to being yourself! But how did you get here? Where's the other Rufus? I have no idea what you're talking about! What do you mean? Who cares what's going on in that convoluted brain of his? Goal was never dead. There was actually an accident with a defective interrogation robot. But of course, we were able to save her. We threw the robot overboard. And that other woman, that... Donna. But 
Hermes. And now that everything is settled, hand over the Ascension codes, or your girlfriend will really be thrown from the tower. Oh crap, her dead body was thrown from the cruiser, along with me. You appear to be suffering from hallucinations. And I mean now. Listen to me, will ya? I know that the third Rufus is still out there. So what? It can be fixed. You always say that. In your whole life, you've never fixed anything. Face it, will you? He's going to fail as well, just like you. So apologize, and then we can finally carry on. Apologize? For what? Do you really not know? Do you have no idea what you do to your friends? Again and again and again? Is this really necessary now? I think we have more important things to do. No, no, no. He needs to learn his lesson. So, Rufus, we're waiting. Fine, so we wait. The third Rufus can still turn the tide. And once he's succeeded, you can apologize to me! Huh. You sickening son of a- Whoa! Hey. Seagull, what are you doing? This is really going too far. Put down the weapon! Yes, wouldn't he like that? I've had it with this little bastard leading me by the nose. I demand to hear an apology now! Loud and clear, I said now! All right, all right! I apologize. What? Why would you do that? Trust me, we should apologize. You got something in your eye? I am beginning to lose my patience with a pair of you. With me too? But why? He's the one to blame for everything. He's got Gold's fate on his conscience. <laughs> yeah, and much more than that. He stole everything that wasn't nailed down. He humiliated Wenzel. Hey, hands off! That's exactly what I'm talking about. He's always causing trouble. He's responsible for the melting of the polar off. ice caps. You see, it's all his fault. He drowned Tony's goldfish. And yes, it's his fault that... That's enough! Mom died. <laughs> <laughs> So, what's it going to be? Will you give me the codes? Don't give them to him! But he'll have you tossed from the tower! One of us has to make it to Elysium! I can't be responsible for your death again! I didn't like it one bit the last time! What nonsense are you talking now? Are you going to do it? In the meantime, I could easily have made myself another copy of the cartridge. What? You didn't really think I hadn't stored the data anywhere else. It's called a backup. Well, I had always asked myself what was going to be your last crucial mistake, Rufus. I think I know now. Oppenboss, throw the woman from the tower. But... Less contradicting, more woman throwing. Ah! No! Surprise! So you thought you could escape me, huh? What for? What good would it do? No idea. Buy some time? Time! Time! Time for what? Well, I I'm sure the third Rufus has a plan. You're acting like a baby. Just face it! Rufus number three screwed it up, and so did you! I'm not acting like a baby! Oh, yes you are! Rufus number three? Didn't screw it up! Huh? What's that? Oh, my baby phone's ringing. Uh, yeah, hello? I screwed up! Oh, I see. Uh, right, thanks. Um, that was Rufus. 
He, he said he screwed it up. <laughs> what do you know? Here we go. Hey, hey, what's the big idea? I told you, I'm driving, and now, let's vamoose! Don't make yourself so heavy. We've still got work to do. I'm afraid you'll have to do it without me. I'm not gonna make it. What are you talking about? Of course you'll make it! No, sorry. He hit me pretty badly after all. You're on your own again now. Promise me that you'll save Gold and Deponia, and that you'll make it to Elysium. Do it. <coughs> do it for me. Hang in there, you can make it. No, it's too late. It's so dark. You need to stay awake. Do you hear me? Don't give up now. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Just as long as they don't make me repair junk presses on the other side. <laughs> I love you. Farewell, Rufus. <laughs> Is this gonna take much longer? I don't want to seem unromantic, but we've still got a few gigantic... Uh... <sighs> That's it, I guess. You finally succeeded in killing everyone after all. The cannon was our last chance. And now it's plugged up. We are all going to die. And it's all your fault. Thank you so very much, Rufus. Stop that! You should be ashamed of yourselves. Are you serious about blaming Rufus? Where would you be without him now? Likely still at home in Kuvak or the floating black market. Everyone doing their own thing. You wouldn't even have looked up when the bomb towers opened their hatches. It was him who brought you here. He fought for you and your planet. Even though you all hate him, he could have gone to Elysium with me on several occasions, but he didn't, because he refused to sacrifice Deponia to get his way. And now you will damn him for doing the same thing for Elysium! Goal? <gasps> Goal! You're alive! And looking good. And, and you're alive! But... But why? Wh wh where have you been? It's a long story. But at the end, Argus threw me from the top of the Upper Ascension Station. Rufus, well, one of the Rufuses, jumped after me. And he caught me just before I hit the ground. Then he lost control of his flying robot thingy and crashed. Fortunately, I fell off and managed a soft landing on a burrito stool. May I interrupt you briefly? Despite this joyful reunion, Hello, Gull. Tony, we are still doomed to die, remember? Leave him be, Tony. It doesn't matter. There's nothing left for us to do. I refuse to believe that. There must be another way. What are you looking at me for? My plan was using the cannon. Do you really think I would have considered that if I had seen another way? If it's a plan you want, you'll have to ask Rufus. Are you serious? Goodbye, cruel world. Ah, oh, Doc. I don't know. There are so many things I've messed up in the last couple of days. Of course Rufus has a plan. Yeah, I have... what? A plan. What else? A shiny, ingenious, and super-duper plan. His best so far. And it starts with a plea, right?
Why not? Well, you never know what it's to like to die. Why don't we got to lose? It sure way. beats not having a plan. <laughs> it won't get any better if you keep fiddling with it. The wig is a little singed. So what? Be glad at least that the costume survived Oppenbot's fall. Oh yeah, yippee. That way, I was able to pilfer the clothes from my own corpse. I can barely restrain myself from jumping for joy. <sighs> Don't you think this is the wrong moment to turn into a sissy? It's all right. For all I care, we can get started. Well then, onward, onward to, Elysium. to Elysium. And here we go. Huh? Nothing's happening. Did you check the cables? I thought the dock had seen to that. I have to do everything myself around here. Oh, a little air at last. Can you move over a bit? Whose hand? Who's that? Shut up back there. Rufus needs to concentrate. Can you check whether anyone's standing on the cable? Not me. Me neither. It must be you, Moo. Don't be silly, woman. Perhaps you, Doc? I don't know. I can no longer feel my legs. Uh, I think it's me. That's not the cable. Barry! Wait, I found the problem. I just need to lift the sandbag somehow. That is me. Oh, uh, it should work now. Thank you. This is it. The final maneuver proved as a move no more nuts as any other plan there was at hand. A perfect occasion for a contemplation of all the events and the writer's intent. It may seem sad to say that Rufus's way for saving the day is a little snappy. But when shit hits the fan, it's when a decent man's plan will be as deeper as ever a diver with a scuba to do. Was how the scuba did you? find a place to park, but could you have picked a spot in the shade? Huh. Next time you drive and I do the drinking. I wonder why they haven't sounded the alarm yet. Yes, they appear to be ignoring us. Try to make it work for you. Okay, if I'm not back in ten minutes, give me ten minutes. Attention! Oh, <coughs> Bailey von Zeck! Division, halt! Yes, yes sir, sir Bailey! Oh, yeah, I mean that. <clears throat> well done. Oh, crap. More of them. Uh, <coughs> Attention! Bailey von Zeck! <laughs> Hello? Mainly from deck. Yeah, we've noticed. Tell us something we don't know. Really? Mind your manners, will you? A little more respect for our Bailey. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah? He's got a point. After all, he's the Bailey. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm, 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 after all, I'm the, I'm the Bailey. Uh, remember that. Is this the right floor, Bailiff? 
you should know that, being a bailiff and all. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> of, of course, uh, of, of course. Are you completely sure about that? Of course I'm sure. I'm the bailiff. I'm always sure. Good to know. Time to disembark, everyone. The bailiff says we're here. Um, let me guess. Oh, Cletus? No, Argus. You guessed it. And you must be Rufus. Some nerve you've got coming here. Foolhardy and stupid. As always, or don't you realize that I will now have to break every single one of your bones. Wait! Can't we come up with a, a more peaceful solution? I don't think so. The time for amicable agreements has expired. I've been looking forward to this day. Put them up! Oh, 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 oh. Ow! Just the elevator speed. Who we'll needs that kind of thing? Ow! Ah! Oh! Oh, cut it out! Waiting impatiently. Well, waiting? For your speech, of course. And allow me to add that I am no less excited myself. Your speeches are always so inspiring, so eloquent. You play the crowd like a, a virtuoso plays his piano. And if I may say so, a less charismatic orator would literally be torn to pieces by such an audience. <laughs> he would. <laughs> Oh, certainly. But your words are like magic. Inimitable. <laughs> but here I am, just raving on. You should get started before the crowd grows even more agitated. Yeah, yes, nobody wants that. Electrifier, work your magic. Uh, just a moment. I, I, I think, um... Gentlemen, we are about to be addressed by our great role model. Our leader. Our mentor, our idol, Bailiff Argus, who just a moment ago personally assured me that the speech he's about to deliver will inflame your hearts for our common cause. And now, stand to attention! You are now being addressed by... Bailiff August! He knew this, and he just let me walk into it. What an ass! Um. Yes, I... Um. What's on... Well, I mean, that... Uh, ass... I don't... No. Uh, <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is... That, 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 um, us. Uh, right here by my side. Is only one of the eleven thousand asses. Aboard this ship! <laughs> the Organon is an organization of asses! That's how we were constructed! That is our destiny! I know, I know. Why is he saying those things? Well, this is why. Just 
just look around. What are we actually doing here? We are supposed to destroy a planet for which we don't give a rat's ass. For people who don't mean shit to us. Isn't it time to realize that we are the asses here? Then why don't we do what is expected of us? And shit on them! Come on, say it! We don't give a shit! Just look at our logo! Looks like somebody put their butt on the photocopier during an office party! And now, the result is proudly displayed on our banner. The print of a gigantic, flabby ass. So why be surprised when they treat us like asses? I could name you a thousand more examples. The fact is, we're the asses here. But is that something to be ashamed of? I say, no! I, for my part, am proud of what I am. I am an ass! And you're all asses too! It's time to show the world what's inside us. Long live the Organon! <laughs> What's it good? Very inspiring, like always. Great. Well, then I can go now. Uh, which way to the bridge? But, uh, what about the hymn? The hymn? Uh... Exactly. Following each of your speeches, you lead us in our hymn. You can't have forgotten. Uh, uh yes. The hymn. <laughs> <laughs> Me, 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 me. <laughs> Here we go. Organon. Oh, Organon. Oh, oh. Organon. Oh, Organon. Oh, oh. Organon. Your mysterious companion. I had hoped you would introduce me to the person who caused us so much trouble. Don't worry, she's on board. You should be more worried about the others who are also on board. Your precious bailiff Argus has moved the entire organ onto this high boat. What? That can't be true. Where is that treasure? You know, I've got good news and bad news regarding him. The bad news is someone's got to clean the floor of the elevator shaft. I don't think that will be necessary. Argus, I don't believe it. You are trying to deceive me to bring the organ on to Elysium behind my back. Yeah, but he didn't reckon with me or me. What's going on here? Who is that? I'm the real Cletus. He's just an imposter, which, strictly speaking, makes no difference. Plus or minus two zeros. My calculation turned out just right. This high boat is now under my control. Not as long as I can prevent it. Stop that! This high boat is no longer bound for Elysium. What? 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 I'm certainly not going to jeopardize the Utopian project by taking an invading army to Elysium. I'm initializing the destruction of Deponia. 
right now. Elysium will have to start on its journey a little sooner than expected. Stop, Ulysses, you fool. This is madness. My decision stands. Don't try to stop me. But, but what? But what about the Deponians? When you detonate Deponia, what will become of them? Enough energy to catapult Elysium towards the nearest inhabitable planet, I hope. Have you no conscience? Oh, I do, most certainly. But it is necessary. And you are not going to change my mind. But... But what about me? I don't want to die. I know. You're the third prototype, aren't you? Yes. The tragic fate of the Alpha Generation has always fascinated me. That's why I took Argus under my wing back then. You may think you aren't one of them, but actually, it has always been your destiny to die, just like the rest of the Organon. And the fact that you don't want to die is simply due to a flaw in your design. But... But what about you? You're gonna die as well! True, but this is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. With all the suffering I have caused, I don't deserve better. Ha! Huh. So you've got a conscience after all. You don't have to do this! Oh yes, I do. But... Why would you want to sacrifice yourself for the Elysians? Who or what? is forcing you. I mean, Deponia may be no paradise, but it's possible to live there, and many people do. And not everyone down there was as unhappy as me. I know. I know the life down at the surface. I spent a long time there myself. Like a rat amongst the garbage. That isn't a dignified life. Not for... For a bunch of stuck-up swellheads? Hey! If you really want to know, this is about my daughter. She lives on Elysium. I want a better life for her. On Utopia. I'm doing this for you, Goal. <gasps> no! You old fool! What have you done? What do you think? In a few minutes, a radio signal will be emitted from this high boat. It will activate all the blast towers around the planet. Deponia will be destroyed. And Elysium can finally set out on its journey to Utopia. I saved my daughter. That's what I have done. I'm afraid I have to contradict you, Dad. Go? What? What? How? I went to Deponia with Cletus. I knew you would never permit it. That's why I didn't tell you. The girl we were looking for was... You! The one who took pity on these junkyard dwellers and sabotaged our plans? This was about you the entire time? Can't we celebrate this family reunion some other time? Deponia may blow up any minute now. Including us and your precious daughter. Exactly. What are you waiting for, Ulysses? Abort the detonation! But that's impossible. Can't we stop it somehow? The only way would be to destroy the antenna before the signal has sent. The transmitting antenna, of course. But the transmitter is on top of the upper deck. It would be a suicide mission. Who would be crazy enough to try? I'm in. So am I. And I. Well then, what are you waiting for? I'm coming too. You're staying here, Missy. You and I are going to have a serious talk. Oops, why does that always happen to me with antennas? Here we go. Haven't got all day, you know. Whoa! <laughs> that was fun. 
fun! You moron! You almost killed us! Oh, I've heard that so many times before, but never actually, you have killed us, and that makes all the difference. That's quite enough! I've had it with you! You will hold yourself back from now on! Leave the rest to us! So, how shall we proceed? You could jump. It's much too far. Or perhaps you could stop the rotor. Oh, don't be such a rufus. The rotors are keeping the high boat upright. Even if we could block it, the high boat would capsize. That would be the end of us. Hmm. Step aside. I've got a plan. Stop! Don't! <laughs> I hit it! <laughs> and who's the idiot now? You, of course. Same as always. Huh? Why? Just look. The transmitter fell into the rotor, and it keeps blinking like nothing happened. Oh, damn! It's still active. How are we going to reach it now? There's a catwalk down there. I can see that. Any chance we could get there by jumping? Down there? Just how stupid are you? Answer his question, Cletus. Excuse me? You're the inspector here, aren't you? Then let's hear your assessment of the situation. What are the odds? <laughs> Taking into account the rotation speed and the radius, the odds that we'd survive without being shredded by the rotor are about one in three. Hmm. Well, one in three isn't half bad. That depends. It roughly corresponds to your brain cells per head ratio. If the three of us all jump from different positions, at least one of us could make it, but that's insane. Have you got a better plan? No, fuck off. It's all settled then. We count to three, and then we all jump. One, two, <laughs> three. Rufus? Rufus, wake up! Ouch! What, what happened? You made it! Bravo! W where's Cletus? I don't think he made it, but I'm not quite sure. It all went down very fast. Now, do you see the antenna anywhere? I'm... at it. Do you hear me, Argus? I've got it! Very good. And now, destroy it, piece of cake. <laughs> uh... No! What are you doing? Destroying the transmitter. What else? You're not about to stick your hand in the rotor, are you? 
I knew you were an idiot, but the sheer folly of this really surmounts everything I've heard so far! Ah! <laughs> I did it! The transmitter is destroyed! Deponia is safe! Yes, very impressive. But to make it a little more interesting, you blocked the rotor. Then help me up so we can get the rotor running again. It would be such a bummer if the high boat were to break apart at this point. After all, we're only a stone's throw from Elysium. Yes, that's an idea. Another idea would be to let you rock down there. I suppose it depends. Depends on what? Your decision. Will you help me with my coup against the Council of Elders? Yes. You what? Ah! What's going on? Something's blocking the starboard rotor! Is that bad? No idea! You missed Deponia! We're about to crash? But, but we're almost there! I can already see the airlocks! The airlocks, you say? But of course! The maintenance ladders! Perhaps I can hold our position long enough so we can evacuate! Go and gather your friends together! And what about the Organons? Them too, of course! Now that the detonation has been cancelled, I hope that Argus will rethink his plan. I will inform the Council of Elders. But what about you? Go! There's no time for discussion! Go now! I refuse to believe this. You still intend to have the Organon invade Elysium? Why not? Where else could we go? I will never allow that to happen. Oh, come on, Rufus. Those soldiers down there are our brothers. We share the same gene. Basically, we're identical. Why should you be allowed to get to Elysium and not one of them? Or two or three? Where do you draw the line? Who gets to decide that? You, perhaps? No, but so, uh, what do you say? Never! That's too bad, but it can't be helped. Somehow I knew you wouldn't cooperate so long, Rufus. No, stop that! <laughs> you rotten bastard! <laughs> <laughs> there you are again. Ah, it hurts. <laughs> it's your own fault. <laughs> Ow. You're a fine one to laugh, but now we're all in the same boat again. I think I can free myself. <laughs> Don't! The rotor is only stuck because we're all in between. As soon as one of us moves, it will start running again. Then we all die! But if we continue blocking the rotor, then the high boat will crash one way or another. We're dead. Just how did we manage to end up in this stupid situation? Don't look at me. You two messed it up this time. What? Can't come up with a cunning plan for once. Let me think. Nah, it's completely hopeless. So, we can relax then. Rufus! Cletus! Goal! What's happened here? Doesn't matter. You have to get us out of here. Preferably before the high boat crashes. Yes, it's a little too late for that. Dad says that all these rotor failures have damaged the engines. He's able to hold the high boat in position for now. But evacuation has already started. We've only got minutes. Oh, great. Now everyone's getting to Elysium but me, right? Exactly. Get me out of here. You can only save one of us before the rotor starts turning again. No. There must be a way to get all three of you out. No, there isn't. Come on, make a decision. How can I decide that? I don't even know who's who. Who cares which of us is Rufus? Just leave us here and save yourself. The most important thing is that you survive. Ha! He just gave himself away. Exactly. The real Rufus, uh, that's me, <laughs> would never say such a thing. You're right. That really didn't sound like Rufus. Could it be possible that you changed that much? The real Rufus will never change. You know that. Then perhaps it's just another trick to look good. No! Uh, uh. It's true. I'm not 
Rufus. Rufus? That's him. What? Uh, yes, I, yeah, sure. He's right. Uh, I am Rufus. Is this a trick? A last desperate maneuver? You know, if I help him, it's too late to change your mind. You're going to fall and die. Definitely. Just think. How can I be the real Rufus? The real Rufus is never going to give up. He'll never change. And he'll never... Let go. Stop! <gasps> no! No! Come on, go. We need to get out. Come. <laughs> huh? Hello, Rufus! What? Barry, what are you doing here? You're my idol! You remember? And <laughs> I follow you everywhere! No, seriously! I just wanted to tell you how much I admire what you're doing here! At first, of course, I was shocked, but then I did understand! Brilliant! Really! It was actually the only thing you could do! A genius plan! Even from a philosophical point of view! The ultimate altruistic deed! Huh. Wow! Rufus! The oh-so-resolute Rufus at last finally changed! Are you ready? I don't know. Do you really think this outfit is appropriate? But Rufus, everyone knows you're a Deponian. You remember that, right? You no longer need to pretend. Never again. You can simply be yourself. Forever. Rufus. But this is totally cool. Ah, here come our heroes, the saviors of Deponia. Well, a fine mess you got us into, if I may say so. Your report poses us a difficult dilemma. Naturally, now that we know Deponia is inhabited, our journey to Utopia is cancelled for the time being. But the high boat is destroyed, and the cable is cut. And with so many new citizens, our resources will be used up even faster than expected. What will become of Elysium? Are we forced to land on Deponia? Is that the solution? So many questions. I'm afraid I have no answers for you, Your Eminence. But this Deponian here is a true genius. Who? Me? If you're stuck for unusual ideas, his imagination knows no limit. Go ahead. Any suggestion will be welcome. Uh, but, go. You can do it. Well, uh, <coughs> uh, perhaps we could mount some rockets on Elysium. Go on. Or flying dragons. And I if we put um, monster truck tires on a, a gigantic dirigible... Monster truck tires? Uh, then perhaps we could uh, train a few eagles and... Uh, Get it back to those flying dragons. How big would they have to be? Oh, oh, huge! With very large teeth, and they should breathe fire! Closing my case, there's nothing left to say. <gasps> Any last questions? I take that as a no. <gasps> if you feel battered, your whole world is shattered, I may have a helpful suggestion for you. Just grab your harmonica and sing about the podia. The groove is a stream of a life more ideal. And the fact that sometimes there may be just one last chance to save the day if you let go. And if that's so, I'm off now for real. Usa is off now for real. <laughs>